Hello, and welcome to the Pause Resume Show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to your annual podcast fest. It is indeed the Pause Resume Game of the Year 2018. I am your host, Craig Shields. I am here with the podcast host on a break, Alex Collinson. Not really on a break, but hey. <laughs> well, you're not hosting, that's what I'm talking I'm about. not hosting. And um, Mr. Instagram himself, Alex Odie. All right. Taking a break from his interesting Instagram pictures. Yeah. Oh, you see my ball, did you? How did you do that? It's good, isn't it? I got it. Uh, everyone got me a lens ball for Christmas. It's basically like a giant ball. You just hold it up and it just flips whatever you see. It's, I don't know, it's well cool. It's hard to explain. It's a really awesome picture. Yeah, it's cool. We just went for a walk in there. Yeah, loads of photos of the ball. Do you want to plug your Instagram? Nah. Nah? Really, nah. nah, doesn't want to. I'm doesn't a private person, you find me, you find <laughs> me. <isn't it? laughs> right, so for those of you who aren't aware, um, this is Portra Zoom's end of year bash. We are in 2019 now, yes, recording this on the 1st of January. But we're going to look back at the... Yeah. Yeah, happy new year. We're going to look back at um, the, video, the video games of 2018. Some of them were good, some of them were bad, and some of them were called The Quiet Man. So... Let's start with our sort of little individual okay, awards. Uh, when we get to the main award, the game of the year, we will discuss a massive list of as many games as we've played and thought of, and we'll try and whittle them down to a top 20 in order. Some will be cut ruthlessly. And we will try and not <laughs> argue. Some will forget about until we get to the top again and go, how is that still there? As is tradition. As is tradition. What will, what will secure that number 10 spot this year? Yeah. What? I'm never happy with number 10. No, it's always an awkward so one. Like Battlefront, it? Battlefield. No, yeah. we've had Battlefront, Alamette, and The Lost Legacy. The Lost Legacy? Uncharted, yeah. Oh, wow. Well. I don't think I've ever played that. Yeah, it's good. It's right. Yeah. That is the one with Chloe and... Yeah, Chloe yeah. and Nadine. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've never played that. Let's, let's start our game of the year discussion with <laughs> a game that came out two <laughs> yeah. years ago. Let's go straight to the initial awards. Uh, we're going to go through these categories to start with. Biggest disappointment, best surprise, best music, best looking, best character, best indie game, best old game of 2018, Uncharted Lost Legacy, uh, and best VR game. Let's go straight for Being it. a bit more formal this year with the smaller awards. Oh, I just chucked them out last year, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. Oh, let's see, I'm improving my keeliness as the years <laughs> go on. <laughs> Biggest disappointment, the nominations. Please feel free to add any nominations to this if you wish to. For biggest disappointment are Vampire, Pez 2019, Metal Gear Survive, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and Fallout 76. That's good, because that was my answer. <laughs> <laughs> any more nominations? No, I'm not no, sure no. Shadow of the Tomb Raider should be on there. I mean, I know I... I I played it and I wasn't too impressed by it, but I don't feel it's as disappointing as some of the others. Okay, all right. Not played it. Interesting. No, not, not played. I it. would give it a go, but now I'm debating. <laughs> <laughs> well, I put it on biggest disappointment because it wasn't the. It's clearly not up to the caliber of the last two, and no, it's, it's definitely and it's not, not by um, Crystal Dynamics. Yeah. No, it's definitely not up to the caliber of the last games. Um, I felt they could have done more, and after playing like God of War. Uh, Red Dead and other games, you know, Spider Man and stuff. It's just not up to that sort of level. Mm. I mean, obviously, I wasn't too keen on Spider Man myself, but we'll get to that later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it wasn't up to the same sort of standard. Okay. Like visually and so let's impact wise. All right, so that's yeah. not obviously not gonna not gonna win. Vampire. <laughs> you played Vampire, didn't you? Well, yeah, but I had a really awkward time with Vampire. Because you remember, that's when I got I got the review code, and for what reason, whenever, whenever I played it, well, I can't remember what happened. I think the sound would cut out every time I played the game. The sound would start, and I play the game, and then the sound would gone. And I was like, I can't play this without any sound. It does my head, and and I even messaged them. They got their support team involved, and I couldn't fix it. And uh, yeah, never got to really play it. Like, oh. Played like an hour or so of it. Well, I did have sound. And... Well, that was a disappointment. So it was disappointing, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah, very disappointing. That's why it's on the list. I think there was a lot of expect high expectations for that because it was from the um, Life of Strange People. Um, yeah. And I liked their other game, Remember Me, which conveniently everyone's actually forgotten about. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> but, but there we go. So that leaves us with... Because I, I don't think we've given Vampire a fair, a fair shake there. And I think the, the other three games here are probably worse. Um, Metal Gear Survive, Pro Evo 2019... Fallout 76. I think with Pro Evo, 
being a big disappointment. I mean, obviously that's a lot of that is to do with licensing. There's yeah, and not stepping up to the plate with the money. I'm upset because Celtic Park is still not in Pro Evo, even though they've promised, even though they did. and even though they've shown uh, the pictures. Celtic edition as well. Yeah, yeah, I've got the Celtic edition, Celtic badge on the front. The team's in it. The stadium is not. They're like, it's coming, it's coming. And then last week they're like, it's coming in February. <laughs> oh come on! It's a bit ridiculous that yeah. to release the Celtic edition and not have their stadium. It's disappointing. I don't know if there's any other licensed teams whose stadiums still aren't in it, but uh, there must be. Austria Vienna's. No, they're not in it. Then they're definitely not in it. But oh, yeah, so I'm thinking my of, uh, football manager. Yeah, you're thinking of my football manager <laughs> team, where I'm currently managing Austria Vienna. <laughs> it's hard, man. It's hard. Um, yeah, so my disappointment from Pro Evo 2019 comes from my personal football team not having the stadium in it. The actual <laughs> games are right, but that's why it's one of my disappointing games. Yeah, so, I think the actual gameplay of Pro Evo is mm. good and stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. It's just a bit disappointing not having all the teams that everyone wants and, as you say, not having your stadium, mm. despite having a whole edition for it. Yep. For well, your team. I think, it's, I think it's disappointing they're still making football games every year. <laughs> <laughs> to, be fair, to be fair, at least FIFA have got, you know, they've got the Champions League and Europa League this year. So they did something. Did they, is, that, is that new, is it? Yeah. Oh, right. And they've also got a Decently. survival mode in it now. Oh, really? Yeah. Alex Hunter career. It must be, what? Alex Hunter's on story. Like season three. <laughs> season three, yeah. It's like <laughs> Netflix career. Oh, I like that game. Was... Never, that'll be an E3 moment I'll never forget. <laughs> Alex Hunt. Was he not back this year? I don't know. I can't I think even, he was. Can't even I don't know. Alex Hunter. He's, um, he's certainly something. He's definitely not a football player. That's, <laughs> that's for sure. So it leaves us with two anyway for biggest disappointment, which is Metal Gear Survive and Fallout 76. I think there's a clear and obvious winner here. Well, I'm not playing Metal Gear. Okay. Have you played Fallout 76? I played a very small amount of okay. it. And, yeah. Why? Just, I don't know. I, I couldn't even tell you it's how. It was just boring. It was, it? Yeah, yeah. I just. I didn't play too much. I was much. playing it and I had a few hours. other games at the same time and I was like, why am I wasting time playing this? Yeah. But I could be playing other things, basically. Mm. That's exactly yeah. how I felt. Yeah. Did you get it on launch? No. Okay. I got it like a couple of weeks after, I got code of it a couple of weeks after. And I was yeah. Like, and yeah. Spurs going? I was like, I bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean Metal Gear Survive is, is not a great game either but I feel like it is a game yeah. type thing like there's Fallout 76 has got all these glitches and bugs and it's the whole issue with the uh, canvas bag as well yeah that's you know? ridiculous oh I saw about that yeah, yeah like there's a there's a Absolutely lot of things ridiculous. that have just fallen into each other have you played much of it no I, I never played it you never played I've it I've not played it yeah. I, I saw a lot of stuff and went yeah. nope yeah I do not want to do that, but I think because of everything around it, um, it should win Biggest Disappointment. I think, so. I think that's perfectly yeah. fair, yeah. One and done. Biggest Disappointment of 2018 yeah, is Fallout 76. Congratulations, Bethesda. <laughs> well done. Try and sell us. making crap. It's Keep right. working on Elder Scrolls. <laughs> don't worry about anything else. So, uh, don't worry. They'll, yeah. they'll try and sell We're us Skyrim Scrolls, again. But... I'm waiting for my Elder Scrolls yeah. mobile or whatever it is. When's that out? That's going to be soon. Yeah, they probably delayed that because of 76. They probably, probably yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's think a bit more positively now for with best surprise. This is the category that I think uh, Mr. Instagram over there knows a lot about. I'm sure he's played all the games, yeah. all the indies. Yeah. <laughs> um, best surprise nominations are Moss, Astrobot, Celeste, Monster Hunter World, Florence, The Gardens Between, and Nintendo Labo. Interesting. Where do we start? Should we also add um, Donut County to that? Yeah, we can do. Get my pen out. <laughs> I've got a nomination. Go on, oh. Two Point Hospital. Oh, interesting. I'm surprised you didn't say mention Two Point Hospital. I wasn't surprised. It was amazing. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Fair argument. I, I was surprised it existed, considering Team Hospital came out like decades ago. Yeah. But I've been telling you for ages there's yeah, I don't know. a place for it. There is, well. there is a place for it. So what what I think the best way to do this is to go through each of our best surprises of the year. Or like your like two or three, see if there's a consensus. Who wants to start? Well, I only had one, so I'm having to rock it out. So yours is two point hospital. Two hospital is mine, yeah. Okay. Alex? Uh Moss or Labo, sorry. Okay. 
because it's not going to work because I'm going Celeste. <laughs> <laughs> So we've got no consensus whatsoever. Right. So I think we can knock out um, Astrobot. I liked Astrobot. I did as well, but it's a VR game. I, I sort of half expected what I was coming into. Mm. Um, none of us mentioned it. Gardens Between, we'll discuss later. Donut County's gone. I thought you would have stuck up for Monster Hunter World. There were, that's on my mother list. But mm. yeah, it, the thing with Monster Hunter World is I think... I kind of always knew that it was coming at some point. Yeah, Whereas yes. the Two Hospital just kind of came out. Or when it first when I first heard about it, I was like, "Wait, what? Mm. Uh, this is, is actually Theme Hospital they're doing again?" And then, yeah, I don't know. I just love that game. I'm surprised Two Point Hospital came out and was good. Yeah, me too. I thought there's no way they're going to recreate what mm. they did all that time. I thought I would just never get the nostalgia back, and no, I loved it. It was mm. brilliant. I was following it from day that dot. So yeah, but that do, yeah, but that doesn't mean it was going to be but, good, though. I know, I know, but seeing who was making it and the attachment that I had with Beam Hospital, I think my hopes were high, mm. and my high hopes were met. Were met. So I was not disappointed at all with okay. it, and I was not surprised, and it was exactly what I wanted, and I love it. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I don't <laughs> think it's in any other category, so. If it's going to win one, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't even. It's going to win Game of the Year, Craig. No. I wouldn't even really expect it to win, but honourable mention. Yeah, it's yeah, good. yeah. Good so, it has this with this category, it sort of leaves us with uh, Moss Celeste, Labo, and Two Point Hospital. I think we should get rid of um, Labo. But you were quite surprised by it. I, I was surprised by it, but I wasn't. I think it's more with Labo, the technology behind it. Hmm. That was quite surprising, and how in depth the actual game was. Yeah. After you built the stuff, mm. um, for me anyway, I'm surprised there. Yeah. Def- maybe not the best surprise though. I think hearing yeah. from what you, um, what both of you talk about, Two Point Hospital, and considering some of the other games in this best surprise category actually fit better elsewhere, like best VR, best indie, things like that. I'm thinking maybe Two Point Hospital wins Best Surprise because you guys have played it. You both, you know, loved it. Yeah. Obviously, you had no expectations. I haven't played it, but I've seen so many like remakes and comebacks, and they just fall flat when they come out. Yeah, that's kind of how I felt about it. I was like, oh, I want it to be really good, but mm. I was always just a bit like, he's actually gonna is it? He's gonna get to that stage where I hit that certain point, and I'm like, I'm bored, and it didn't happen with that. Mm. Not for long. I mean, I'll still play it now. It's just, Mm. Are we happy? Yeah, I'm happy with that. What was the other? What was the other one? Uh, Moss Astrobot. Oh, no, no. Uh, Moss, Moss is VR. Oh right, VR yeah. game with Quill the mouse. Yeah. Yeah. It's really good. It's, good. it's a stunning game. We'll come. We'll discuss that a bit later. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure that would come up. <laughs> uh, Moss Astrobot Labo Two Point Hospital, um, and Celeste. So Two Point Hospital best surprise. You're not sure. Well, I wasn't surprised by it, but I like the game. So, okay. uh, as long as it's winning something, <laughs> yeah, it's winning <laughs> that, that was my point. I don't, I don't think it's going to win any of the other categories because yeah. it doesn't fit. It's not an indie. It's not no, a VR no, game. No. Um, it's not going to win best looking or best character. So, two point hospital, the best Could surprise. Be the best oh. character for the full game. No, the game, <laughs> the game is not a character. That's that's not how these things work. It has character. <laughs> there we go. Two Point Hospital is the best surprise of 2018. We thought it was going to be terrible. It was not. Well done. Best music. God of War. Celeste. Red Dead Redemption 2. Astro Bot. Or Spider-Man. Plus any other nominations you want to chuck in. Yeah, pretty much how was I had on there. What do we think about music? I'm a big music fan. <laughs> What about the music in these when, games? When it comes to, to be honest, it's, it's funny because actually I listen to loads of like video game soundtrack scores at work. Mm. It's kind of all I listen to at work, really. And there was some really good stuff from like God of War. I don't really listen to just out and about or anything like that. It's very fitting for God of War. Yeah. Um, but things like Red Dead, Red Dead, had an amazing soundtrack. It's still not out yet officially, mm. but. Well, the soundtrack. Yeah. Is it not? Well, not on like Spotify. Stuff like okay. that. I think you can get it, but yeah. I, I ain't paying. Uh, <laughs> I ain't paying. <laughs> and Spider-Man was good as well. <laughs> I feel like, they, like Spider-Man, Red Dead and God of War all fit so well yeah. in each game. Mm. Yeah. I, thought, I thought Spider-Man was good. 
But then I thought you'd often be swinging about and it would just be the same music. Yeah. yeah I and thought I thought it, it drove. Yeah, it was a little bit repetitive. There, was a, there wasn't as much depth to Spider Man as the others, I reckon. Mm. Mm-hmm. Probably best to point out as well, there will be spoilers in these discussions. <laughs> we literally postponed the podcast so that someone could finish finish one of the big games. Oh, yeah. <laughs> off, off the year. Great. Well, we, we got a f- <laughs> I got a few more in as well. We got a few more yeah. in these in, yeah. Definitely. Um, so, less music I thought was amazing. For me, that was like part of the best get- part of that game. Yeah. I haven't played all of that game. Um, mm. but yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, the. Sorry, the I just hit the microphone. That's, I heard it. And my laptop's <laughs> not making noises. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, no, I thought the, the soundtrack of Celeste really went well with its um, its story and its, its mm. overall narrative of depression and how to handle it and all sorts of stuff like that. And I, I listen to that soundtrack. I don't often listen too much to video game soundtracks, but that one I do listen to. Mm. Um, it's really good. It's you know really varied, and it it was so good that obviously the lady who composed it was invited onto the game awards to yeah. work with Hans Zimmer and all that sort of stuff. Oh, that's cool. And yeah, now she's think... probably earning millions of dollars probably, yeah. off the back of a <laughs> sixteen-bit indie. Um, For me, I would say it's Celeste or Red Dead because Red Dead's music I can never get out of my head. Not Astrobot. I I like the music <laughs> in Astrobot a lot. Yeah, I I, and knew, I commented on that yesterday, didn't I? I, I knew Astrobot right. was not going to win this, but. It's music is so much. It reminds me so much of like the, the rare N sixty four games of like Banjo Kazooie yeah. and stuff, and even like Mario Odyssey. Yeah, like they got really close mm. to that level of excellence in its music. But I just wanted to mention that really. Yeah. So, doesn't sound like there's much love for God of War. I think yeah. I mean, my, my one on my list was Red Dead. Okay. Just because yeah, it's quality. I think you're right with Celeste or Red Dead. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Which one? It's on, uh, so it's on YouTube. I've not played Celeste. I've not heard Celeste. Yeah. So. I think... The thing that Red, De- Red Dead Redemption 2 does a lot of things that I don't like. Yeah. Mm. And we'll come on to that later oh, as yeah. well. But I think one of the things it does do really, really well is the music. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And the way some of the music is timed specifically to moments yeah. or the way you travel and... I think, you know, yeah, those sort of travelling moments when you're doing like the cinematic walk-in and then yeah. you get like just some epic music comes on. It's yeah. just so fitting. And you, you stand there unshaken. Yeah. <laughs> and it, the I thing as well, it's, it's really <laughs> long. To it. Like there's a lot of Red Dead music. I think the soundtrack is many hours long. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I think what it does really, really well is it brings out more than what's in front of you. The music doesn't just... It makes you look around... The music oh, doesn't yeah. just accompany what's happening on the screen; like it gives you more impetus to feel that feel that you're there and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, so, it kind of adds to the background of what you're seeing. Just yeah, yeah. I think that's a general consensus on Red Guess Dead. Guess we have a winner. The best music. Best music of 2018 mm-hmm. is Red Dead Redemption 2. Congratulations to Rockstar Games. It's got an asterisk now, so I can't I can't <laughs> take it back now. Best looking. I feel like some of these games are going to come up in a lot yeah, of these categories. Yeah, a lot of the same. Isn't it? Best looking is between God of War, Celeste, Return of the Obra Dinn, Red Dead Redemption 2, Spider-Man, Moss, Astrobot, Unravel 2? Okay. All right. Any other nominations? Okay. What are we, what are we picking? What's our gut feeling straight off the bat? Moss or Unravel 2? Okay. Or God of War? Okay. I would probably go God of War, Red Dead. Okay. I would have said God of War or Celeste or the Return of the Opera Din. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna stricken Return of the Opera Din from this. Okay. Um, I want to just mention something. So I it. played obviously I played God of War and then I played Red Dead, and at the same time I started playing Unravel. So mm. obviously I play them both on the Pro, Unravel and Red Dead mm. with 4K. And for me, every time I stopped playing Red Dead and went into Unravel, the world was just more alive, like the colours were brighter, The like it was just, which is why I put it on there Yeah. myself. I just felt it was so much more in my face, like as a world. Yeah. It is like looks wise for what Unravel is, obviously. Yeah, Unravel Two is um, a really good looking game. Different to Red Dead, of course. Um, 
but looking looks wise, I just felt it was much better. Mm. Um, I find sometimes with those sort of games like Unraveled, you can bring out a lot more because yeah. when you've got such a condensed area yeah. to work with, you can yeah. highlight so much yeah. more than you can with like the size of yeah. a game like Red Dead. Yeah, yeah. which in, in a way makes this a, a bit of a battle between um, the condensedness of Unraveled 2 uh, compared to something like the scope of a Red Dead Redemption 2 or God yeah. of War. Mm. Um, I think my the one I think should win uh, is probably God of War simply because... I'd, prob- I'd probably say my moment of this year in video games is when you meet the world serpent. <laughs> yeah. That thing was so impressive. Yeah. Right. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. And just the, the sound design on it as, as well. I know this isn't sound, but it just, you know, it was yeah. it was really awe-inspiring. Yeah, God of War was something else. Mm. Mm. And like when you're looking off from the mountain and stuff. Yeah. As well. I really like yeah. that. And um, when you're fighting the, the Valkyrie, yeah, it, and it's the detail of like when you're battling stuff and the detail you mm. see once you're battling yeah. like their wounds opening up and all that sort of stuff and it's yeah. just yeah that's well good yeah is that consensus I think so well, where's the one we all said <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Red Dead Redemption 2 I thought, just a quick mention I thought that also looked really oh, really good oh yeah I still um, sometimes get blown away when I just yeah I, it's those again those moments where you're just kind of walking to the next the next mission or whatever you're yeah. doing and you're just like you see something it's like I found sometimes when it's like slightly foggy and you get light coming through trees and stuff yeah. like that it's just mm. like Jesus yeah, yeah the the moment... where it, it shines yeah, the, yeah. The, the moment in particular in Red Dead Redemption 2 that stands out to me is the end of chapter 3 when you're with the gang and you're walking towards the mansion and the moon oh, yeah. is shining down on you creating all these silhouettes and all these sort of dark nice areas and, yeah, yeah nah, that wasn't nice that was like menacing we were going to burn just, the place yeah. down <laughs> <laughs> best character God of War wins best looking best character this is this was an interesting one last year who won it last year uh, all I remember last year is we got that character from Nier with the weird music oh god <laughs> I can't re- I, I don't know who won last year I can't remember I can probably find out but we'll, we'll look later I don't know I know Bayek was nominated what came out last year I can't remember I, can't, I, can't remember. I could not Cap- was it Cappy not win it Oh did, yeah, did we, I don't know. We did have Cappy up there. Like. I know Cappy was was oh. nominated. I'm gonna have a look in a in a second. Um, nominations <laughs> for best character this year are is Arthur Morgan from Red Dead Redemption Two, Kratos from God of War, Cassandra from Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Madeline from Celeste, Quill from Moss, Peter Parker from Spider Man, Connor from Detroit, and Good God, Uno Ratu from Shadow of the Tomb Raider. <laughs> exactly that's what I was thinking uh, the winner of best character last year was Cappy it was Cappy a legend it was Cappy no, best looking was Cuphead I was going to say I'm sure that won something yeah right so can we cut any of these straight away is there anyone else we want to add no that's so good to me I think we should cut Peter Parker I don't think he's I was the gonna best say character this. I was going to say the same I think he was really good I think he played Peter Parker really really well but he's gone yeah I've took my pen and struck it's, through. It's, it's, <laughs> um, I think we should cut Quill from Moss. I think again. I think for um, Moss, obviously um, Quill doesn't really speak. So. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that's that's not the reason you get rid of him. But... I know, I know, and it's a she. Quill is a she. Oh yes, God, yeah, of course so. it is. God, what an idiot. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think. Yeah, she's that's, a cool I know character. There's no reason to get rid of her. Yeah. I'm just. I would say the storyteller shone through maybe more. Okay. Yeah, I think this, I think this okay. is more just like a token yeah. nomination rather than a. Yeah. This is the best character because that game's really good. But yeah, okay, so okay. Quill, she is being cut. Apologies to all the Quill fans out there. Um, that leaves us with Connor Unaratu. Do you know what? Let's just cut. What is Unaratu? Unaratu is the queen of Unarati. Okay. <laughs> Tells us now. Why, why is she <laughs> the best character of 2018? Or she up there? She's the best character of Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Okay. Um, Which was nominated for Biggest Disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, right, go on. Um... <laughs> go on, have your so, piece before we cut her. I just felt she was 
the only character of that game that shone from that game. Sorry. Yeah. Covering my microphone. Um, yeah. Like, you know, Lara doesn't really shine. Like, Lara's Lara. I know. You know. Mm. Um, what's his face? I can't remember his name. Her friend. Yeah. He's just the same. Mm. And I felt like out of the new characters in that game, uh, Unarati was the most built up character. She has quite a tragic ending as well. Okay. I just thought she deserved to be on that list. Is that more to do with how bad everything else is in Shadow of the Tomb Raider <laughs> as opposed to she's actually a good character? Maybe. Okay. But I did think she was a well rounded character. Personally. Okay, that's fair. I mean, you've got some story behind her and who she is as well. Yeah. Um, you know, her son's in it too. And well, that's good. We watch her die. Okay. Um, spoilers. Spoilers. <laughs> we didn't say there were spoilers. It's yeah, not there my are spoilers. Even if there you are spoilers. The game. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I don't <laughs> care. Okay, Unaratu. We've said we can cut her, can't we? She's got the mention. She had the spiel. Yeah, I guess. I don't think I don't think she hands <laughs> right. Um, I. So is it Kratos? Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Dad of the year. Like... Dad of the year. <laughs> Brilliant. Um. I was going to actually mention Cassandra from Assassin's Creed Odyssey because actually you played as Alexios. Yeah, he was cool. Yeah? Yeah, I liked him. Okay. He was on my personal list. My personal list was him and um, Arthur. Okay. Why? Why Alexios? Alex- Alexios, I don't yeah. know. I just thought he was cool. Like, and I enjoy playing as him. Like, and the thing with Assassins is I'm... St- and I kind of... I went back and played it for the first time a couple of days ago mm. like, since I'd stopped playing it. And I forgot how much I just enjoy, like, his interaction with other people in the world so I was like hey, legend just yeah. getting in I think that's what it is with Cassandra yeah. her interactions with yeah, people really in the world just, and I, like the comedicness I'd be interested to see how like a lot of the sort of ways that he sort of deals with things like if it's literally just the same sort of dialogue or if it's like mm. if it comes yeah. across slightly different and stuff like that yeah I think it, I think it is slightly different yeah. but it's the, Cassandra's just she's very sarcastic oh right, right yeah a lot of the time yeah which I, I find quite, quite funny, funny actually yeah, yeah. But, um, I don't think I don't think her or Alexios hangs on this list. No, but I thought but like yeah, honorable mention. They were both well obviously yeah. definitely an, an honorable mention. Okay, bye bye. That leaves <laughs> us with Connor, Arthur Morgan, Kratos, and Madeline from Celeste. Anyone want to take one of those up and tell us why? Actually, what 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 are we thinking around the table? Best character out of those four. Madeline or Connor? I thought it was Arthur. Yeah? yeah. Okay, I think we'll cut Kratos. I think I'm with Arthur. I like Connor though. Connor was cool. I kind of to be honest, I didn't think about Connor, but he was good. I like Connor. I I would happily play a game with just Connor. <laughs> this is just you know. Is there any? It's weird playing as an android, but feeling like a bit more humanoid. If that's what makes. It was the only thing in that game that had like a crumb of decent personality and <laughs> actually felt human he and he was the most robotic one yeah really I thought it was quite funny yeah sometimes yeah to be fair as well actually they had quite a good soundtrack that game it did yeah it's a good moment in that, like the, f- the opening mission in that I like the chase um, with Connor yeah, yeah. Mm. about halfway through over the rooftops oh yeah yeah um, that's it Hank I like Hank as well Connor and Hank the dream team of detectives <laughs> oh yeah the, the grey haired guy yeah yeah, yeah 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 I think it's Hank yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when they're at the burger bar. Oh, that bit's oh, funny. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think Connor's just quite a well-rounded character. Like they have obviously they've gone with the android yeah. thing, but they have given him a personality. But then Arthur, <laughs> he was a pretty good character. I thought it was going to be difficult to go from John to playing with someone in the same space as John, but. I think they handled really it well. so well. Yeah, I mean, there, there was moments in Red Dead where I, I, where I could have argued, like I think I prefer Arthur over John. Oh, controversial. Oh uh, yeah, I know. But there was moments of it where I was like, oh, I like Arthur. I don't think I ever got that far. No. I quite like Dutch. I didn't like Dutch. But I feel like you were supposed to like him. Hate. I don't know, but he's got a plan. <laughs> yeah, good. He's got a plan. He's he did get annoying plan. towards the end, but. Um, yeah, I quite liked his character. Know. But yeah, I don't know. I just I enjoyed playing as Arthur. I thought generally with Red Dead, with the characters, they did quite well. 
Um, yeah, they put a lot like of the work into all their characters. Like, along the there. outside and stuff yeah. as well. Mm. Um, they, you could tell they'd put a lot of thought behind a lot of them. Yeah, definitely. Um, none of them were really throw away. Like, um, there's one side character that I met who's like a French artist. Yeah. Ooh la la. And <laughs> I yeah. don't know if you've, if you've met him. He wasn't the zookeeper, mate, was he? No. Uh, no, no, no he's mate. literally an artist. Oh, you right. meet in a pub, oh, wait. some random bar thing. Oh, okay, no. Is he in Saint-Denis? Yeah, in Saint-Denis, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, I can remember one guy painting outside or something. Was he painting? Or was he taking photos of animals? I can't remember, to be fair. There's the one with the animals. Yeah, yeah. we have to go around up That's the, a different one the as well, line, yeah. The, the real line. But the French one, I just thought, was quite... He uh, was so funny and so unashamedly himself. Yeah. Because <laughs> he was quite um, rude, uh, like painted naked people, oh. so, <laughs> but he was very like proud of that and stuff. Yeah. And I just thought, you know, for me that was when I was like, oh, these characters are so good. So we're going to give the artist yeah. who paints nude people character of the Friendship. year. <laughs> I'm just saying. I I think we should push for Arthur. Happy with Arthur thoughts. I thought it was a bit bland compared to some other people, but. He dies. In a shit way, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, TB. A shit way, but yeah. I'm sure we'll come to that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Are we good? Yeah, I'm happy. Arthur Morgan. All settle. Character of the year has been Asterix 2018. <laughs> Three more to go before the main shindig. Here we go. Best indie game. This one won't take long. Nominations are... Into the Breach, Celeste, Dead Cells, Overcooked 2, Moss, again. Has that been nominated for every character? character? <laughs> Donut County, and The Gardens Between. Celeste. <laughs> I think you just shout I'm just, something. I'm just... Moss? <laughs> We're just shouting random games? No, no, no. I, 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 the list? I think Celeste is the clear winner of this category. Didn't you forget to say Overcooked 2? No, I said Overcooked 2. Mm. There's I a 2 point hospital, but... That's not an indie. Oh, is it not an indie? Published no. by Sega. Published by Sega. Uh, right. yeah, yeah, fair enough. We yeah. had this I like discussion yesterday, too. yeah. That's good. But, yeah. Yeah. I feel like I didn't play hardly any indie games this year, so... Mm. Overcooked 2 was good. I'll leave it to you. I liked Overcooked 2. Yeah. I like all the Overcooked. Okay. Do we have any... I love a cooking game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, little shout-out for Gardens Between. Um had that a couple of months ago that came out that was a really cool game yeah. you gotta kind of like walk around like a I, I guess a round a round world where you can you just control time yeah. the characters go on set paths but you have to like reverse time and forward time to get past different obstacles little yeah, puzzle game cool. very short it was only about four hours long yeah. but what I had what I played I really enjoyed um, Donut County that's good I'm enjoying that you were literally just playing that aren't you yeah I was literally playing it just before the podcast do you want to let everyone know what Donut County is? So you're a raccoon? No, you're not a raccoon. Well, you're not a raccoon. But <laughs> the, the main character is a raccoon. Yeah. And he works in the donut shop that is owned by the raccoons. Yep. And he has a friend, I can't remember her name. His best friend. Um, I just lost my mind. This. I can't yeah. remember. <laughs> anyway. Um, anyway, so people order donuts. Obviously, you think you're going to get a nice donut enjoy what you actually get is a hole and he swallows everything up yeah oh you move the hole yeah I've kind of see, hole. i think i've seen that <laughs> yeah yeah it's like a weird katamari can you get on the iphone or sort of that as well yeah. 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 yeah okay i've seen that yeah yeah don't like honey it was a good game it's fun i quite like the story it's quite funny yeah it's, it's good towards the end yeah. it's, it's good and I like what they do in that game because you play the first few level, levels and you're like, oh, I'm just moving this hole around and sucking everything in. But then you start taking things in. So like, if you take in like some water, then your hole fills with water, <laughs> and then you've got to, you know, try and, try and use that to solve down, different yeah. puzzles. Uh, and that's pretty cool. Take other things or get stuff to take the water out. And there's there's other little bits and pieces yeah. you can do. Um, good game. I don't think it's the I best. I don't think it's the best in the no. game. No. I don't either. Um, you haven't put Florence on that list, actually, have you? Florence is not on here. Yeah. Do you want to tell us about that? Because <laughs> I haven't played that. So I'm gonna. S- so Florence is a weird. It's not weird. It's an iPhone game. I think it's on Android as well. It's a game. It only takes about forty-five minutes to an hour long. 
um, and it's basically a touch a touch like storyboard game mm. it goes through different I don't want to say it's like a comic book type thing but there's different story things and you'll have to like swipe or touch or whatever um, and I, I listened to um, someone on a different podcast uh, yesterday described their feelings with the game and they actually started tearing up at one point trying to describe what happened it basically tells the tale of a relationship between a man and a woman you're sort of playing from the woman's point of view um, and spoilers the relationship basically ultimately just falls apart in the end mm. um, probably one of the moments from that which is what I heard on this other podcast because other podcasts are available is there's a part in it where you have to there's a picture of the two and it's kind of ripped apart mm. and a lot of stuff what you do in the game is you'll try and move stuff together and you try and put this picture together of these two people but the game doesn't it doesn't really let you do it yeah. like the, the parts like slowly drift across and immediately after that you can't put the picture together the next chapter is called let go so the game encourages you not to touch the screen because the longer you touch the screen like the the woman is not letting go of the relationship so it's quite an impactful game for just like an iphone game yeah. Mm, yeah, it's, it's really cool. yeah it's um moving i think yeah. it's, it's best to describe it but um definitely worth a mention very good game I think it was only like two ninety nine or something like that but probably the best mobile game I've played in a long time yeah you don't really play many mobile games either no I, I don't mm. I don't and um, for anyone looking for a mobile game where you don't catch random Pokemon <laughs> this, this is the one for you um, but I'll go back to my Celeste as the best indie game of 2018 spiel tell us why okay <laughs> I'm sore throat at this rate <laughs> I know, um, I'm just going to do something quick for you yeah yeah, Celeste is not only the best indie game of the year, I think it's one of the best games of the year, full stop. Um, Get this out there now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. this is the fight that's happening yeah. in about 20 minutes. Um, are you, have you played Celeste? Yeah. No. You haven't, okay. Yeah, so it's basically a little bit like Super Meat Boy, but no. I think if you say that, it kind of makes it's it... It's not like Super Meat Boy. No, but like in, in general <laughs> terms, like you're, you're Madeline, this girl, um, she's at the bottom of the mountain, you've got to work your way to the top of the mountain... Um, you're generalizing it, aren't you? I, I'm very much generalizing <laughs> it. I'm trying to give people a, a sense for, for what it is. So it's, it's a platformer where you have to get through certain levels and rooms, and as soon as you die, you're straight back in. So you know, mm. I'll, I've, I think I've died like over a thousand times in the game. It tallies yeah. it up for yeah, you. Yeah, it tallies. Right. It up. I mean, you, you're straight back in, straight back in, straight back in. Um, I've died way too much already. Yeah, but the, the game it's not it's not just the fact that the levels and the gameplay and the design is really really good. So is the art style and the music that we've already spoke about. Mm. And again, it's got this again, it's a really impactful story about depression. Mm. Like as you go through the levels and where she's she's anxious at times and then she's you know fighting against herself, you know mm. her her alter ego comes out and all that sort of stuff. And again, it didn't have to do that. Mm. It could have just been like a bog standard really good platformer. But they went the extra mile. Yeah, so I think it's the story behind it all, isn't it? Yeah. That makes that game. And the game is fun as anything. As I'm well. not sure about fun. I'm getting more frustrated with it. <laughs> which is why I haven't gone back to it for a while. But... That can be fun. It can, it can be fun. It's like the Dark Souls of Indies. No, <laughs> let's, not, let's not do that. Um, so, yeah, I... It's very satisfying when you do complete a level. Yeah, yeah. Well, not even a level, just a just a section. Just a section, like a room in <laughs> yeah. there. And some of the levels get really, not complicated, but they're quite elaborate quite depth, as well. Yeah. There's I want one to try that out, to be fair. You should definitely, yeah. definitely play that. What are you playing it on? Uh, Switch, Switch yeah. of course. Yeah, obviously. Has, has when are we not, not playing yeah, Switch? Yeah, why wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> um, we need to invest in another Switch. So I'm going to say again, Celeste, best in the game of 2018. Come at me if you disagree. I'm happy with that. I trust I you. I do like Moss, but... I'll, I'll we, have, we have spoken a lot about Moss. We and we will do in a minute as well. Yeah, okay, Celeste, best indie game of 2018. We didn't mention Dead Cells actually at all. No. Nah. Nah. Philip, Philip Mewson has spoken enough about Dead Cells. Right, best old game of 2018. Near Automata. I like this category. I don't know why that's on here. Nominations are Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I like your attitude. Persona 5, Assassin's Creed Origins, Nier Automata, Yakuza Kiwami 2, Shenmue 1 and 2. Any other nominations? I I want to say that Nier Automata should be winning this category because it is the best game 
of 2017. No, it's, um, not, it's not. So there we go, moving it on. Is. <laughs> now, also, the best game of 2018. No, this is best old... I don't yeah, think... Yeah, but near... I played it in 2018. And 2017. And I got the platinum. Okay. No. And I like I don't, I don't think Nia should win. Um, I don't think Shemmy should win I know either. it's not going to win, but... Yeah. I don't think Shemmy should win because the ports weren't great. They weren't as spectacular no. as we were promised. I spent the first half hour of the game listening to a dog bark during a very dramatic cutscene. <laughs> I don't think Persona 5 should win because I don't think any of us have actually really played it still. We're still waiting for it on the Switch, aren't we? I've played a lot of it, but I didn't finish it. Okay. It was a long game. You know what Persona's like. I think I've played probably 40, 50 hours of it, mm. but I still was probably about halfway through it, and I was yeah. like, I haven't got it in me. Yeah. Well, they announced Persona 5 R yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah. But they've not said platforms yet, but everyone's saying Switch. Oh, yeah, made full mm. sense of it. That's, I think if I had it on the Switch, I would probably would have finished it. Yep. Definitely. That's what we were saying um, in the last podcast, wasn't it? the last normal podcast um, about Persona 5 when they announced Joker and the mm. DLC for Smash. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But if it was on there, you would have finished it. Yeah, then. I'm going to scratch off Yakuza Kiwami 2 because I think Yakuza... Because that was a full remake. Yeah, it's not like just a reboot of the game yeah. and stuff. It's it's a brand new game almost, yeah. isn't it? If but a very to. good remake. So is that the consensus then, Nora? Near Automata? No, the the last three are Xenoblade Chronicles Two, Assassin's Creed Origins, and Near Automata. I th- personally think Xenoblade should get it. That's what I would say. Because Again, another one I didn't finish because it was so big, yeah. but I loved it. Because that got no love last year because yeah. it came out too late. Mm. It, yeah, and it, and it needed the love because it was such a good game. Mm. But it was so different. It was number nineteen on our list last year. Okay. Do you know what I loved though? Xenoblade was just the um, combat style. It was so different to anything. Like mm. any other way that you play like a game like that, it was just it took me forever to work out how to do it. Yeah. And then when I finally started clicking with it, it's just like, oh, it's great. Yeah, I really enjoyed that game. I, I love the voice acting. It's not great, <laughs> yeah. but I just love it. Yeah, you get, when you, once you've played 40 hours, you're just like, oh, I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> no, you don't, you don't want it any other way. Um, little shout out to Assassin's Creed Origins. I actually think it's much better than Odyssey. But I don't know, for some reason everyone's so just Odyssey's clicked. Odyssey's not in the top 10 this year, isn't it? Not for me. Um, but for some reason everyone's just clicked on Odyssey this year. I don't, yeah. But I don't think there's much difference between the games. Mm. But I think A lot while of people you, seem to be enjoying Odyssey more. Yeah, I, I, again, we'll probably come on to this later. I don't understand why. I think it, maybe it's because I've got a real love and fascination for ancient Egypt. Yeah, I think it's part of ancient Greece. Mm. Um, but it's under the way. I love ancient yeah. Greece and that sort of stuff. So then uh, as soon as they said Odyssey, I was like, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I think I, I, I've spent over 90 hours in Origins. Mm. Um, but I, I think Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Yeah, I mean, I haven't played Xenoblade myself. Mm. But... I love the characters in it. Mm. And they like your attitude as well. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. I feel like I'm settling a lot here, though. That's... Yeah, I'm sure you're biding your time. Until you're <laughs> 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 right. So are we I have bide my time. What are okay. you talking about? <laughs> so, I think the I thing like with... I've got someone on my side this what... year. Apparently. What was <laughs> what was near third last year? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it got, for that spot. it got its thing last year. We had a full in-depth piece on it this year as well, <laughs> on its philosophy and all that sort of stuff. We, we've done enough in there. Let's give Xenoblade some love. Okay. I'll do okay. No, I'm not saying I disagree. Like with Xenoblade, like you played a lot more upset. of that probably than near, <laughs> near this, yeah. this year. But. So, Portal Dreams' best old game of 2018 is Xenoblade Chronicles 2. But can... it could be Donkey Konga. No, it can't be, yeah. <laughs> it can't be Donkey Konga. The asterisk is down. <laughs> okay, last award. Last award before the main one. Don't best be best VR game. Well, I'll sit back and leave this to you. Yeah, you sit back. Okay, here we go. Astrobot. Moss. Again. Tetris Effect. The Diner Duo. Zone of the End of the Second Runner. Beat Saber. I think we should cross off some of those that we're not as fond with or familiar. Like, like Beat Saber. Beat Saber. Tetris Effect. And I'm going to cross off Zone of the Enders as well because it's just a it's just a PS2 game. It's not, it's not upscaled. Game, it? Yeah, yeah, but they made it in VR. Um, so that leaves us with Astrobot, Moss, and the Dyna Duo. Yeah. 
I think Dinajuro goes. Um, I like the Dinajuro. Mm -hmm. I, I like cooking games. Yep. <laughs> so, Do you want to let everyone know what that game. is? Um, so and also the, the caveat to why it's even in this list. <laughs> the Dinajuro is one person sits with the VR and they are the chef. And you can change your music, you can change your CDs while you're chefing away. Cooking your burgers, flipping your burgers, mm. getting your buns out, you know, chopping your cucumbers, all of that. There's also a cake mode where you can make little cupcakes. Well, you don't make the cupcakes, so you grab the cupcakes and put them in the tray. And then there's a Christmas mode. I haven't got to that mode yet. Okay. Um, and then you can either have a second person or the pe the a simulation will do it for you. They will go and take the orders, make the drinks, and tell you what you need to cook. Okay. Um, it's very important that if you play with a second player, they actually tell you what you need to cook. Because if they don't, you have no idea what you need to cook. Um, so it's definitely like a working together sort of game if you are playing it with two people. It's a bit like overcooked VR. Yeah, yeah. Um, no. <laughs> no, but like in, in general, except one person stands still and makes all the stuff. I guess. It's very condensed. Yeah. Yeah, of course, yeah. Uh... But, I mean, aren't all cooking games a bit like that? Mm. I, well, I, my cooking game knowledge is limited to overcooked oh, yeah, and too. overcooked too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I play a lot, um, you know, like Diner Dash, for instance. You've got to go take the orders, you've got to make your food, you've got to then deliver your food. Mm. It's all very much like that. That is cooking games in general, mostly. Mm. Um, there's not much deviation from that general sort of, what do they call that? That general formula. Okay. Um, so obviously, though, this game did not actually come out in 2018. It uh -huh. came out on the 18th of December 2017. Yes. Um, which was only a week before our last Game of the Year podcast. So yes. we were allowed to include that this year. Hence oh, why it's there. Which makes it not eligible. No, it doesn't because you. Uh, we had a heated discussion <laughs> about this. Okay, it's not going to. Two gonna days ago okay. and yesterday. Yeah, let's be blunt though. It's not going to win the category. Probably not. No, okay. but I think that's, it deserves to be mentioned. At. Yeah, that's fine. And it does. It is a good game. It's good it for fun. what it is. Yeah, it's really it's good. It's good fun. for what it is. Um, I enjoyed it. Best VR game then, Astrobot or Moss? I think Moss should win. I think Astrobot should win. <laughs> um. What's your two cents, Alex? From I haven't played any VR clue, <laughs> so it makes no one to me. <laughs> Where are you to Moss? You said that a load of times, so it already is. <laughs> I, to be fair, Moss has been mentioned in every single category, apart from Bigger Disappointment and Best Old Game. Even in Best Character. I really like Astro Bot, though. I like Astro Bot, but um, I think with Astro Bot, it's more about the physics of it um, and I found that I couldn't see something sometimes quite a bit mm. I mean I have bad eyes anyway but <laughs> Astrobot has a lot of um, sort of wow moments in VR that only sort of VR can give you especially the, the later on you get into it it's, it's difficult to describe yeah I'm still quite early on yeah. in Astrobot I'm comfortable with giving it to Moss because I think what they tried is a first sort of fully cohesive like story driven game story narrative driven game yeah. um, which in VR you, you don't really get you don't get that no and that's why I do think it deserves it and it does look amazing okay um, like just in the the chapel part when you first yeah go into the game for instance that is just wow mm. like for me anyway it was and yeah. like the only thing I didn't like is um, so between like chapters I guess it goes really bright white. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was a bit much on the eyes. Yeah, yeah that is <laughs> um, true. But other than that, I thought it was really good. Okay. Uh, in Moss. fact, I keep just wanting to play it, and I've not had that with VR games. And I prefer, obviously, with VR, a lot of the conversations is that, in that, is how you move through the levels and stuff. And for me, I prefer the way Moss does that to the way Astrobot does that. Because you're static. Yeah, you know, in Moss, you are static. But then it goes dark before going to the next section. Yeah, Whereas yeah, yeah. Astrobot, you're like moving along. Going down the corridor. Yeah, I didn't like that so much, okay. personally. All right. 
I know it's personal choice, but that's that's what we're here for. Like personal that. choices. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think Astrobot is better, but I'm happy to concede and give Moss the best VR game. I think both of them are fantastic and a great example of what VR might be in the future. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Awesome. And it's a shame we never got to the Tetris Effect because I think that's probably a good game. Yeah, but it is just Tetris. Yeah, we'll see. But. Maybe, that Maybe might that'll win. be your 2019 yeah. old game. Yeah. Old game of the year. Yeah. Old game of the year. So the winner of the best VR game is Moss, which follows Resident Evil 7, which won best VR game last year. Bit of a difference in <laughs> in types there. <laughs> yeah. So just a little rundown there of our initial awards. Biggest disappointment was Fallout 76, obviously. Best surprise was Two Point Hospital. Best music was Red Dead Redemption 2. Best looking was God of War. Best character was Arthur Morgan from Red Dead Redemption 2. Best indie game was Celeste. Best old game of 2018 was Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And best VR game was Moss. Do you know what? That's a really good spread. Hmm. Good list. There's nothing that's that swept the board there, even though there's the same games in a lot of the same yeah. categories. Yeah. Awesome. Happy with them. Let's move on. Let's go. Game of the Year discussion. Here we go. So... We have... How many games do we have on our list? Shit, load. A load. Um, we have a load of games on our list. As I said before... 56. 56 games. We have to whittle <laughs> down... Serious whittles. We have whittle to whittle down to 20. Oh, sorry. Is that 54, maybe? maybe okay. 54. I think we should do... More than 50. Sets of rules right now. If there's going to be some stuff that's just going to have to go. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Um, so, quick recap. There's more than 50 games. We're going to whittle them down to a list, an ordered list of 20 Going from 20 to 1, number 1 will be the Portal Dream Game of the Year for 2018. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Everything will be spoiled from here on out if you have not played a game. Tough. Tough. We've already spoiled some. We will spoil more and all of them, including Kirby Star Allies. So if you really want to know what the ending of Kirby is yourself, go go play it. Come back and listen to the podcast. The podcast will be here till the end of time. Are we ready? Uh, you also wanted to mention... The remake. Oh yeah. Remaster. The other the other little rule is we're not gonna every every game is judged by its own merits, but in general ports we won't include. Um so Fire so, Crash Bandicoot won't be there. Um Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze is not here. Yeah. Uh Punch Club for example. Or Switch. But Prison Architecture. As a Switch. caveat to that, next year it's likely Resident Evil Two will be because that's a full re- remake with mm. new game. New uh, designs, new gameplay, blah, 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 blah. And blah. Kiwami 2 is in the running. And Kiwami 2 is, is here because that is a full, full-on full remake with new stuff. Right. Yep. But Shenmue isn't. Yes. But Shenmue 3 will be game of the year next year, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> For high hope. Can you run us through the full 50-odd? Uh, I might need some help, but we can try. Okay. Well, I can take over halfway. You just okay. Need to, uh, where are we starting from? I'm going to start at the top. Start at the top. Yeah. Not starting from the bottom. Or should I start at the bottom? Wherever you want. Okay. So we've got Celeste, Monster Hunter World, God of War, Yakuza 6, The Song of Life, Detroit Become Human, Mario Tennis Aces, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, Marvel's Spider-Man, Overcooked 2, Dead Cells, Into the Breach, Two Point Hospital, Yakuza Kiwami 2, A Way Out, Moss, Octopath Traveler, Pokemon Let's Go, Pikachu slash Eevee, <clears throat> Hitman 2, Red Dead Redemption 2, Florence, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Soul Calibur 6, Forza Horizon 4, Sea of Thieves, The Turn of the Opera Den, Fallout 76, uh, Astro Bot, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Tetris Effect, Super Mario Party, Far Cry 5, The Messenger, Football Manager 2019, FIFA 19, Pro Evo 2019, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, Battlefield 1, Sushi Striker, The Way of Shishido, Kirby Star Allies, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Life is Strange 2, Unravel 2, Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit, Donut County, VR the Diner Duo, F1 2018, Metal Gear 5, Just Cause 4, Jurassic World Evolution, Vampire, Nintendo Labo, The Gardens Between, Florence, Starlink Battle for Atlas, A Zone of the Enders VR, and that's, that is it. That's it, that's yeah. a list. Sweet Jesus. Okay, yeah, right. <laughs> No, that game's not in. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's start cutting. So the end is VR can go. That is one that can go. Uh, Sushi Striker, The Way of Shishido. That, yeah, I'm happy for that to go. That's a great name, though. <laughs> it is pretty awesome, but 
yeah, it's pretty basic. Can shout out Tomb Raider? Uh, biggest I... disappointment. No, that's why I'm asking. I've not played it. What do you think? Should it go now or should we cut ours uh, first? I think we'll cut ours first. Okay. F1 2018 should go. And Metal Gear Survive, <laughs> which was second in biggest disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> it's Fallout 76 on it. <clears throat> yeah, I think that should go. Yeah. Vampire. <laughs> yeah, Vampire as well. Um, sea of Thieves. Mm, keep that for now. Have you played much Sea of Thieves? I played it. Yeah, I did play a fair bit. Like when it first came out, I played it. I haven't played anything mm. since launch. Okay. Let me do this with this one. Battlefield 1 should probably go. Yeah? Yep. Okay. Uh, I so liked that's... that earlier, didn't I? Did you play much Battlefield 1? I'm still playing it now. I'm really enjoying it. Really? It's on my list of games, but I know that it's, you know, it's, it's more Battlefield at the end of the day. The, um, I was surprised that wasn't in biggest disappointment because at first a lot of people were very disappointed. Yeah, about that, that's that's one of those weird ones. I don't know what they're disappointed about. It's just battle, really. Yeah, like, what, what do you I expect? Thought. It is. I mean, yeah. it, it was more. It does World War Two really, really well. It's, just, it's not sold well, is it? No. No, no awful. Yeah. Which is interesting. The three uh, football games can go: Football Manager, FIFA, and Pez. No, you're not fighting for Football There's Manager. Call of Duty no. as well. I've not played it, but yeah. yeah, Call of Duty can go as well. Cool. Yeah, that we, are, that. we are ruthless. We got ruthless. a lot of, we got a lot of games to get through. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else have we got on here? The awesome adventure of Captain Spirit. Yeah, I was gonna say, should we just delete that? Yeah, get rid of that. Did anyone play Life is Strange too? I played mm. the awesome adventure of Captain Spirit, nice. um, and that kind of put me off playing Life is Strange too personally. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Because I thought I don't want more of this story. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, get it, get it, get it. Yeah, go on, get it. And I really liked the first one, and um, yeah, the smaller one. Okay, yeah, that can go. Um, Okay, I feel like we're we're getting somewhere now. Jurassic World. Did anyone play that? No. Much of that. Yeah, I can go. Just because I would like it, but I didn't get round to it. Just because four can. yeah, but can go. I would play Just Cause if it was free. If it was because, free. because I'd probably play it for like an hour and be like, that's fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like a, a lot of people are upset. Everyone's upset game. all the time. Well, always, uh, I don't know why people are moaning <laughs> about it though, because they're moaning that the graphics weren't as good as 3. And they were like, yeah, but we had to let go of some of that because we wanted to make everything breakable or mm, whatever. Yeah. Um, so I don't know why people were getting so upset. I Maybe have a Just a Cause unfair. story, though, on, on this. I was at a gameplay presentation for Just Cause 4, mm-hmm. and everyone in the room got a Just Cause 4 hat apart from me. Really? <laughs> they run out. <laughs> so oh. I did not get a Just Cause 4 hat. She was like, I'm a free code. Is it? Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was all right. I was, I was fine. I was, I was good without the hat. Uh, do, 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 do. Soul Calibur 6 can go. Yeah. There's just good fighting games this year. I've not played Soul Calibur. I've never been a Soul Calibur fan, but oh, I love I've, I've heard it. I've, I've seen people enjoying it. It's good. It, it reminds me an awful lot of the um, the original, mm. so, uh, not original Soul Calibur because that was Soul Blade, but the, the Soul Calibur on Dreamcast anyway. Should we delete Mario Tennis Aces? Mm, yeah, probably, yeah. Yeah. That was kind of disappointing. Again, I enjoyed it. I, yeah, I enjoyed it, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I imagine should have, should have been on the list. I didn't want to play more of it after I played yeah. it a few times, which was disappointing because I wanted to play more, but <laughs> I didn't want to play more. You know? Yeah, yeah. I, I imagine it's probably a lot better now than when I last played it. Yeah, they but I have no few... idea. That's a complete guess, but mm. they've added a few characters, haven't they? Um, Return of the Opera Din should go. We don't have enough uh, experience of that, really. Get into a bit nitty gritty mm. now. I would say the same for Starlink as well. Us, how is that? I'm enjoying it so far. I'm not too far into it though. This is this is the problem. Yeah. Um, we got that for Christmas. Didn't we? Yeah, lucky me. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's very like fetch questy, mm. but there's, oh, there's potential. I mean, this this is more of the this, this might be a like next year thing, but. Um, I enjoyed what I've played so far. I played a bit of it at, like, um, at one of the trade shows as well. And that that was where I first thought, oh, this is actually not bad. Yeah. I, I quite enjoyed yeah. it. 
I'm not. I think if you ignore the like toy thing, toy aspect of it, because I don't think that adds you too don't much. Have to use that at all, do you? No, you don't. You don't. But it does look pretty cool. Like, you see, yeah, like, that's what I spotted. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> your link collection. Yeah, there's a few. There's a few. But yeah, so that that can go. Uh, I think Kirby Star Allies should go. Okay, and the Messenger. Have you you played Far Cry? No, you have, haven't you? Yeah. What do you think? It can go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what was wrong with it? I think the problem with Far Cry generally is they can't recreate what they did with 3. Yeah. As much as they try. And I again, I enjoyed Far Cry. I probably played two thirds of it. And I enjoyed all of it. Mm. But then there comes a point where I'm like, oh, I'm bored now. Yeah. And I reckon, I mean, it's going to be the same with the next one. It's just, yeah. Yeah. Disappointing. We've got, we've got a little bit of Far Cry overload, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. We've seen a lot recently. Yeah. It's sort of like, like you, like, I really enjoyed three. Yeah. Like, I think that was the best game of, of that year when it came out. I really enjoyed four, but it was it was sort of more of the same yeah. type of thing. But I still really enjoyed it. And then by the time five came around, I was like, I'm, I think yeah, I'm every kind of year it's kind of getting more and more. Of yeah. What and they had uh, Far Cry Primal as well. Yeah, oh yeah. And now yeah. there's the the new one. Yeah. Cheers. New New Dawn. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Two two girls and. The, the leads the two girls they're, they're the antagonists oh, oh yeah yeah. Yeah, sorry, yeah yeah obviously Far Cry you've got like this silent yeah. protagonist who just doesn't speak uh, yeah I always forget that right so that's gone uh, um, I think now we could take Shadow of the Tomb Raider okay so Shadow actually looking through the list and I'm thinking it's not going to make top 20 Shadow of the Tomb Raider made it to the top these? 40 Is there a, okay. I haven't played it really since launch like I th- yeah I think I we're I wasn't keen on it myself I think we're at that point, aren't we? With I thought I had a good idea, but it just didn't like. At, I launched, did not like. Yeah. It was really cool, but then it just again just got to the point where I was like, oh, now what? Yeah, Sea C- of Thieves is, in a, in a way, is a bit like a, a lesser version of Fallout seventy six, where in a year's time, Sea of Thieves will either be thriving or dead. Yeah, yeah. Same with Fallout seventy six, except in a month. Yeah, it will be dead mm. or it won't. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just hold. On. I'm just gonna move them up a bit. But we're uh, we are slowly getting to getting the degree now. What are we on now? Top thirty-one. We have thirty-one games left. Well, thirty-one minus three, minus one even. Yeah. Yeah. So thirty. Wow. Now no one wants to let anything go. Octopath Traveler. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of games I've never heard of there, so oh, I'm really? gonna, yeah, I'm gonna leave a lot of that for you. Octopath Traveler. I've heard of that. Not played it. Okay. Let's go. Because I, I think I had a demo on the Switch, actually, but I yeah. never actually played it. it was I felt like it's a sort of game that you need to put some time into that. Yeah, yeah it's, it's very long. It's very grindy. Quite a cool graphic style, didn't it? Yeah, that was the thing that stood out. It was it was a really awesome, like, 2D, 3D yeah. type effect. I like that sort, of, that sort of graphic style. That can go. I would say Into the Breach can go as well. Um, now that we're getting to the... More interesting degree. stuff. Dead Cells. Have any of us played that? That hangs. No, it doesn't. I hang. think if we, one of us has played it, I reckon it would be on there. From what Possibly. I've heard of it, but yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> um. Well, how was Dragon Ball? Oh, I love Dragon Ball. Okay. We're still playing that now. Really? Yeah. What? What? But I'm a massive Dragon Ball fan. What? What stands out with Dragon Ball to you? The graphic style of it, I think, is just spot on for what Dragon Ball is yeah. because obviously I've, n- I've never really played Xenoverse which I know a lot of people love but they re- you capture more of the cartoon side of things with Fighter Z, mm. and it's just so easy to pick up and play and just yeah I don't know mm. yeah I love it Alex mm. Collinson anything that stands out to you that should go I two can go really already I've got other games I want to fight for. Oh, okay, we're, we're <laughs> at that stage. Are we sure that's like... I mean, I... What about a lot of it would be in my top 20. What about a way out? Personally. I've never played it. I've, I've mm. got the um, EA Origin Pass thing now. So yeah. I've never heard of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, We've got a well, good. For that, Decent. Like, mm. got my money's worth, but it's on there already, but I haven't, haven't played it yet. Okay. It goes. Old Joseph Farris. Doing him a disservice. Wow. We are down to, I don't know what we're down to. That's about 20, 27, something like that. Yeah, for people listening, we're doing this on a a Google spreadsheet. Deleting stuff. Deleting rows. Things like Tetris likely to hold out. 
No, not in not in our one. No, because uh, I mean we don't I have was the. Just thinking, so we've been getting rid of yeah, we don't have the exp the experience of that. To be honest with you, shall I do a quick rundown of what's left? Yeah. Just so finish, uh, the listeners yeah. are aware. Okay, so we have got left Celeste, Monster Hunter World, God of War, Yakuza Six, The Song of Life, Detroit Become Human, Dragon Ball Fighters. Is it Fighters or Fighter Z? Fighter Z. Is that official? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Marvel Spider-Man. That's official. Overcook 2, Two Point Hospital, Yakuza Kiwami 2, Moss, Pokemon Let's Go, Pikachu and Eevee, Hitman 2, Red Dead Redemption 2, Florence, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Forza Horizon 4, Astro Bot, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Super Mario Party, Unravel 2, Donut County, VR the Dino Duo, Nintendo Labo, The Gardens Between, Florence. I think Labo should be number 20. Okay, let's discuss that later. I think Labo should go. Um, <laughs> Unravel 2. I have no interest in Labo, so... We're not getting rid of that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> VR the Dino Duo. Not yet. <laughs> um, we should just stay on Florence. E... Florence is on there twice. Oh, well. Oh. Take it out. Controversial. Oh, yeah. That's what you do. If your game gets taken away, just, just, just <laughs> type it in again <laughs> up the page. No one can see. Okay, cool. I will type in my game of the year no. ten times. <laughs> no, you cannot. No, I'll Come notice on. that. Um, <laughs> Donut County? Donut, 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 Donut County, sorry? Donut County? Top 20? Mm, I think it should be top 20. Uh, um, yeah. It's hard, but, isn't it? Yeah, because yeah, we've, yeah, got, like, we've got to be a bit more ruthless got now. We've got 26-ish now yeah. left. I, I so really, we've got to lose six games, haven't we, until we can start messing yeah. around. I don't think... I think the obvious ones, and I know they're yours, are Labo, the Dino Duo, and Unravel 2, and maybe Super Mario Party. I mean, if it was me personally, I'd probably get rid of Assassin's Creed Odyssey, but... I don't I'd, I'd fight for Mario Party for a bit. Okay. I'll get rid of Labo then. Okay. If I have to, get rid of one. Yes, my yeah, you do, do now. I mean, you know... Mm -hmm. uh, there's some good games there it's been a good year to be fair no I thought it wasn't a good year and then I started writing games down I, I forgot about things <laughs> I was like yeah. actually it's quite when I first looked at it when I forgot like Monster Hunter came out so early and I forgot how much mm. I loved playing Monster yeah. Hunter I think the other question is I, pro I probably shouldn't be selfish enough to get two Yakuza games in the top 20 in one year. <laughs> it does seem a bit much. So, classic. Sad, <laughs> classic Craig. Kiwami, Kiwami 2, I think, for now can go. Or permanently can go. Okay, so we need to whittle down the this fine, list. Fine, uh, blah, blah. Blah, great start. <laughs> great start to what you were about to say. <laughs> go on. We are the Dino Jerry can go. I okay. thought about it. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank God for that. And to reciprocate that, I'm going to say The Gardens Between can go. Really? Yeah. I don't think it... You think it was better than Florence? It wasn't better than Florence. Uh, Florence is gone. I oh, know Florence is still no, there. No, it's still there. It was there twice, wasn't it? met a consensus. We got rid of one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gardens Between can go before Florence, yeah. Okay. Um, it, ha it had its, its piece during the initial awards. Yeah. I said nice things about that, so... <laughs> Digital service. Yeah. Well, how many do we need to get rid of now? Three. Is it? Oh, one. Where it's... are you looking? Oh, yeah. Yeah, one, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. All right. Okay. Nice. I think... Unravel 2? No. <laughs> With shot. Straight. It was, it was with shot. Um, what about Forza Horizon 4 then, maybe? No, I don't think that can go. <laughs> That's not go been on. mentioned in any day. Xbox needs to, you know, needs to, to represent. No, it doesn't. It does. Who even plays an Xbox anymore? What is an Xbox? Me. I played Forza Horizon 4. How many an times Xbox. does it have to be updated every time you turn it on? Wow, well, it's <laughs> irrelevant. So we need to get rid of one more to get a top 20. Yeah. What looks weak here? Personally, I think Two Point Hospital no. looks weak. No. And I think Super Mario Party and Unravel 2 and Donut County. I will start banging tables. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
That's right. My microphone's swinging. That was my mind. <laughs> uh, to be fair, I, I'm with you with pretty much all of them. I would say Overcooked 2 over three of those games. What, to go? Yeah. Really? Yeah, over three of those games. I'd rather get rid of that. Um, I haven't played Dragon Ball, so I can't comment on that, but I know Alex likes that a lot, so I'm not going to go for that. Um... Monster Hunter World again. I haven't played, but Alex very much likes that. Yes, that's got to be in there. Okay. Um, yeah, I think it does. And Mario Party would be the other one. Right. Two Point Hospital obviously stays. I just said that because that's just my personal <laughs> viewpoint. I knew that was never going to happen in a million years. Well, sure. So I think we're looking at Donut County. No. Nope. Unravel 2. No. Nope. <laughs> Super Mario Party. <laughs> <laughs> Will you suggest something? I did. I suggested Overcooked 2. To, to be honest, out of them. I would. Or Mario Party. I would get if it was down to me. I would get rid of Overcooked Two before I did Super really? Mario Party. Yeah. Wow. I've played a lot of Super Mario Party. I'd rather get rid of Spider Man, okay. but you know. I never came into this thinking that I would be the only one supporting Overcooked Two. And I love Overcooked okay. Two, but I think I like it was between it. those but... those All two. Right. That's what I. I mean, I haven't I haven't played a, a few little bits there. But then so. I think Spider Man should go off from this list now as well. Personally. Very crazy. I'm not crazy. I didn't cool. like it. Spider Man's maybe top five. No. <laughs> All right, Overcooked Two can go then, and we got our top twenty. I I can't believe that's going. Surprising, yeah, because it was I really actually enjoyed it. I really yeah. enjoyed it. It's not on my personal top ten list though. Okay. Either. I haven't made a top ten. I've just made a list. So. I'm gonna have to play it to unravel. Nine. <laughs> is that, is that, Are we sure about Unravel Two? Is it really that good? All right, I like. Because I played it with you, and I was just like. Oh. <laughs> I just. Well, you felt that way about the first one. I just, as well. yeah, I just wanted it to end, yeah. so I could go back to check Twitter or something like I that. I like the puzzles in it. It can be number twenty. I don't mind that. It's either twenty or twenty-one. It's not twenty-one. <laughs> it's okay. I, it, personally, it's in my top list. It would be around five or six for me. But what? I think if you properly looked at your list, it wouldn't be. I have. I just got my list up. Look, I've got my list up, and I've just gone over it okay. and double checked against myself, and thought, "Am I sure about this list? Do I have conviction in this list?" And I thought, "Yes, yes, I do. I won't bang the table." Uh, okay, so <laughs> unravel two. <laughs> okay, unravel two at twenty. That is confirmed. Well, we'll see later on. But <laughs> for now. we will see later on. That's it. It's done. Okay. 19. I think Donut County. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. I think Donut County should go in 16. What makes, what makes you think that? They're 16. 16 is such a specific <laughs> number. Well, because I would put Mary Party, Spider Man. And... No, it's just. Can we, can we get away from the Spider Man being <laughs> like between 10 and 20? No. Okay, well, we are. I'm happy to stick my Mary Party in. I don't mind that. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm happy it's got in the list. So I'll sit it wherever now. Okay. I can say my piece about how good it was. We can't have... I'm not happy about number 20. I'm deleting number 20. <laughs> no, um, no, it's not... What does Unravel 2 do? We're still on this one. What do you mean? What does it what do? It, what, why is it one of the top 20 games of the year? Give me it's a compelling argument. Games of the year. Give me a compelling argument. I, I did already about how it looks. It, it looks that's not a, that's not an no, argument. It's not just that though. It's about the puzzles. So obviously the first one you had puzzles that you had to solve to get through the level. What's it, what's the best puzzle when a level two? <clears throat> or how does it how does it do I think puzzles for me, well? I liked the fact so you've got two characters and you have to use both of them for every puzzle. Sorry, I elbowed the table last time. Right. I didn't bang it on purpose. So Alex gently put his glass to the table. <laughs> <laughs> the I can, I can look away. It was done very well. Um, so, uh, yeah, obviously you always have the two characters. Mm. Obviously at some point you can carry the other one on your back, but a lot of the time it does force you to use them both. Mm. And it was those mechanics of solving the puzzles with them both that I really liked. I like a good puzzling game. And some of them did really stump me. It was... The first one I felt sometimes, after playing the second one anyway, 
had very basic levels in it in comparison. Mm. And I felt they got much more in depth in the second one. Um, for instance, there's a bit where you have to go through like a furnace and you have to lower the other character down to the next bit where you can stand and then, but like going around the fire. Mm. So you have to like lower them around like a maze almost. Yeah. And it's that kind of intricacy in Unravel 2 that isn't in other games this year. And it also had the bonus levels as well. Kate is not like convinced. <laughs> I'm not convinced. I don't think... Well, if you compare it to like Donut County, Donut County is actively trying to do something different. It's got some of the best writing. Yeah, but Unravel 2 does do something different. No, it's, it's 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 iterating on what came before. And, you know, they were like, oh, we've got this one doll that wanders through a platforming level. What can we do in the sequel? We'll just chuck another one in. Yeah, but it's not just a platformer. Join them to a string. It's not just a platformer. <laughs> yeah. It's a good game. I'd say the story of Donut County is better. Yeah, ov- yeah, obviously. The, the writing in Donut County is fantastic. Yeah. It's really well but done. I don't think Donut County deserves to be in that bottom You 10. can send emojis in it. <laughs> you don't think what, sorry? Donut County just should be in the bottom ten. Oh man. <laughs> this is a long this is gonna be a long night. I think and Ravel Two Well we should all have our own individual list. Call it <laughs> <You just> call <laughs> it. Yeah. I think Unravel Two is I said twenty. That <laughs> I think Unravel Two the bottom five, for me personally, I'm looking at Donut County, Unravel Two, Super Mario Party, Florence. That's a that's that's the bottom sort of four ish for me. I I'm think. with you on all of them. Looks furious. <laughs> what if what if Unravel Two went seventeenth? Because yeah, that means it's above Donut County. Okay. What if Donut County went seventeenth and Unravel Two went? No, because I don't want Donut County down there. Okay. So yeah, but what else are you putting down there? This is the problem. I've told you, you don't like what I have to say. What did you? Yeah, you can't do Spider Man. I don't like. But I don't like Spider Man. Yeah, but I don't like Assassin's Creed Odyssey. But it's on the list. <laughs> and I respect what it does. I respect it. It's so a very good game. Should Assassin's Creed Odyssey be down in 20? See, I didn't like Assassin's Creed Odyssey, but I think it should be higher than 20. Yeah. It's better yeah. than Smash, Dragon Ball, mm. stuff like that. Mm. What are we doing? I think we should leave that area for now. <laughs> How can we leave it? It's the, it's the next on the list. All right, should we do definite 10s? Go on then, yeah. Yeah, otherwise we're not going to get anywhere. Yeah, are we? yeah, yeah. Right, maybe if we just highlight the definite ones yeah, that are in the that top we know, 10. And then we can fill around. As we yeah, do. so I say... So that's I'm assuming is going to be yep. on there. God of War. Yeah. Um, Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah. Spider-Man. It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd say Hitman, but I've not played it, but I'm guessing... I I'm... think Hitman 2, yeah. That's already highlighted, but I would say Two Point Hospital sounds like it's going to be up there. I'd be happy with that, yeah. Um, I think... That's top six, I would say. Four, five, six. I would ask without Spider-Man. Yes, but Spider-Man, come on. You can't just not have Spider-Man. Well, what would you Seven. take off that list, then? Take off what list? What? Off the highlighted ones. Nothing. So we've got highlighted Celeste, God of War, Detroit, Become Human, Two Point Hospital, Hitman 2, and Red Dead Redemption 2. Yes, we've got three more. Yeah, right. well, we're just looking for for definites in a, in a top ten. I think Spider Man is a definite in a top ten. So, let me, I'm with you. Needs to be highlighted. Um, I think Moth should be. Mm, and I think Pokemon. Is, is Smash a hot top ten? I don't know. Do you know what? I like Smash, but I didn't actually put it in my top ten. It's in my top. Yeah, 10. me neither. I mean, should personally, I'd say Dragon Ball over it because I love that. Should yeah. Smash Brothers be like a number 12? Then? Should Smash Brothers be lower than that? That's pretty. I mean, it's in my personal thing top with Smash 10, for me, I would rather right. fight for other things. <laughs> the thing with Smash for me is, it's, I mean, I love what Smash is. I love Smash as a game, but it's very, I hate the word basic in a way. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, it is, it is what it's, it's always been. Pressure. 
Yeah, it is what it's always been with a lot more characters. It's a collaboration. And it's, yeah, it's great, but it's nothing new, really. I did like the spirit spirit. Myself. I'd hate that. I don't know. I don't, I know, I, I don't know if don't. I enjoy it or not, really. I can't really tell. Yeah, I didn't like it. I thought I had to do it at first until you told me I had to, how to get characters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was I like, Jesus, I'm <laughs> wasting my time <laughs> yeah. with this. Um, and it's very similar to the Wii U game. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's, so should it be in 17? Should Smash be 20? Well, we were trying to get a top 10. But yeah, I think Smash 20 is yeah. like a shout. Okay. Yep. That sounds it good is. to me. Unravel 2 goes up the list. <laughs> so how many have we got highlighted? One, two, three, four, six, one, eight. We've got two more for definite top ten. Well, I think we can leave that and yeah. start looking at... Now we're kind of moving somewhere. Like, in my head, I feel like there's a, a three-part split in this. The ones we've got highlighted, so let's go to war, Detroit. Yeah. Detroit? How did that get highlighted? Huh? I wouldn't highlight Detroit. <laughs> So again, we're we're back to looking at. So I would. I mean, the thing is for me, right? I'm not going to comment on games I've not played on. Yeah. Which is quite a few of these, but if I'm looking at what's going to be on the bottom half of this list, things like Pokemon would be bottom half for me. I would say Pokemon around thirteen. Mm. Just because I think I like, I enjoy Pokemon. I really enjoyed it, but it's in my top 10 again, it's personally. it's basically the same game that we had. 25 years ago mm. with wow. some slight changes yeah. and you know it looks really nice and all that I'm excited to see what they actually do with the, you know, their next big Pokemon yeah. game but it's fundamentally Pokemon Yellow yeah no it definitely is yeah mm. I really enjoyed it though I must yeah say. yeah me too yeah it's just... I didn't realise how much I would like it but I think part of that is the nostalgia though yeah it because is because yeah. that's the only Pokemon game I've played it's Pokemon Red mm. and it's basically that anyway. and I struggle with the other Pokemon games like even Pokemon Go I don't, I'm not interested in anything other than the original 150 yeah whatever. I'm the same so anything after that I'm always a bit like ah yeah I love Pokemon Go yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. but yeah I, um, every day. I probably shouldn't admit stuff like that should I <laughs> um, I don't know I really like Pokemon Let's Go I, I really like it as well. I like it a lot more than I would. I, I still think I we're looking at Florence, Super Mario Party and Rebel 2, Donut County for up to 15th, between 15th and 19th. And I think yeah. we need to bite the bullet. I don't mind Unravel 2 being down there. But I don't think Donut County should. Okay, well, let's get Unravel 2 in there. Then what about Super Mario as 18? What about what? Super Mario. Um, yeah, Super Mario Party is 18. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. I thought you said Super Mario 2018. <laughs> I was like, what, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> what a game, though. FIFA's I absolutely love Super Mario Party. Why is Super Mario Party good this year? S- the thing with Super Mario Party is they've really, really, really struggled to replicate what they did back in N64 days when it was really great. And it's just so fun. Like, the amount I've played... I mean, I play it a lot with, like, um, the missus and even her parents get involved. And her dad's the sort of person who does not like to play games and that. But the, the little mini games and the way that you play Super Mario Party is just so engaging with anyone. Like, anyone can easily pick up and play mm. it and enjoy it. And the, the mini games are so funny. Like, how competitive people get with, like, yeah. these little 10-yard dashes on the, on the little bikes and stuff. And it uses the Switch and, um, controllers and all that stuff yeah. really, really well. It's just really well done. I mean, I was worried that the maps were going to be too small when I first saw them, but yeah. it's just got such great replayability. What sets it apart from 1-2-Switch? <laughs> I mean, I've never played 1-2-Switch, but <laughs> it's got 80-plus minigames, which I'll guarantee are yeah, almost yeah. all better. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Florence? That's what I always compare it to. I think, I think this is a good time for Florence, Florence to go in at 17. I never thought that would get as high as it did, to be honest with you, but... Here we go. It is a good you game. wouldn't put it anywhere lower. <laughs> no, it's in that bottom. Then were we putting Pokemon in sixteen? Where we? Oh, you said Pokemon are over I or below know. Donut County. Is Donut County going higher here? Uh, let's let's hold off on the. Well, Pokemon I mean, both stuff of them yet. are in my top ten. What is? Donut where's where's Forza going in this list? Yeah, where are you putting Forza? I don't. I wouldn't put Forza in the top ten. Mm-hmm. But, but probably like can... just outside the top ten, I I think. I I don't think we're too far. I'm not going to speak about Monster Hunter and Dragon Ball. Yeah, I was just looking at them. Go for that, but I don't think we're too far off Yakuza Six, 
um, Forza, Assassin's Creed, Astrobot don't look happy. Yeah. I feel like the ones that aren't highlighted are now. Yeah, I feel like we're kind of getting into that realm now, aren't they're we? They're in prime position. I think Donut County should be number 10. Hmm. Let's do 16, 15, 14 first. <laughs> Pokemon at 16? Or does it need to be higher? Hmm. Man. Because now we're getting to these games. That, there's some good games there. I thought Pokemon would have been a little bit higher, but maybe. So did I, but... Um... I would have Pokemon over Forza. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe maybe this now's is... Now's a good time for Forza, then. Yeah, maybe now's a good time for Forza in 16th. Okay. Xbox got its moment. <laughs> so. We haven't got any of the Xbox fans cheering. <laughs> whoop, whoop. That's ridiculous. From Mexico. Um. Okay. Top 15 now. Getting there. Should we put Astro Bot in 15? Oh, man. Over Donut County. Yeah, I think the personality yeah. in Donut County is so much more. But Astro Bot does stuff with, with VR that's not been done before. It's really unique, it's really innovative. Donut County, you said that yourself. <laughs> I use my words against me. <laughs> I mean, I think this doing something other people aren't. That's what you said, I believe. What are we? What are we feeling about Assassin's Creed? I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be in very soon. Like it could be in now for me. Like because mm. again, I'm, I can't play to Donut County or Ashes over or. Monster Hunter and Dragon Ball. Yeah, I think for me it would be personally. Really? Um, okay. But I, I mean, yeah. Did, it's the sort of thing I feel like it should be higher, but when I look at what else is yeah. the game, it's... okay. I think I think Assassin's Creed is. Okay. Let's get it in there. Looking looking good here. And, and now are we in? Astrobot, Donut County, Pokemon, Monster Hunter, Dragon Ball sort of territory. If that makes sense. I think so. Yeah. Yakuza as well. Yeah. Where's Yaku- Where are you thinking Yakuza? Is this going to be top ten? I'm not sure. How many is highlighted? Is One, two, three, four, sure five, six, six. six. See, I would have Detroit um, like way down this list. But so yeah, like, I wouldn't have it like, overly high. To be honest, I could probably put Detroit in mm. 11, 12, something like that, I'd be thinking. Like, I, don't, yeah. I don't mind Detroit being in 11. Okay. So we'll look. Yeah, I, I think that's about right for Detroit. Yeah. Something around that sort of area. I did enjoy my time with it, but I think in a way what actually soured me on Detroit is because I platinumed it, so mm. I played through that game a lot. Mm. But Connor was, so, Connor was so good. <laughs> right, so Detroit. Where's Astrobot and Donut County going? Because I feel like these have been a thorn since the I, start. I think this is 12, 13, 14 territory. Yeah. Let's just clarify, Monster Hunter World and Dragon Ball, are you thinking top 10? I mean, again, I'm happy for them. I mean, I think Monster Hunter definitely should be. Okay. Um, Dragon fine. Ball, I'm happy to have that. Yeah, I mean, again, I would play it over Detroit, but it could probably sit yeah. 12, 13, 14. It, I mean, it easily could. Yeah. Should we have this Donut County discussion? I feel like this is the... the um, it's stopping us moving forward. Why? Because I would have had it in... I would have had it in at 20, 19, 18, 17, 16... <laughs> Well, I've already given up two of my top ten. I know, but it's about reaching a consensus. And some of my top ten have been knocked off well before. But if list. yeah, but if Donut County went in at fourteen, thirteen, or twelve, it would be the fourteenth, thirteenth, or twelfth best game of twenty eighteen entire calendar year. I think it's better than Pokemon, though. Right? Oh man, I think. There's a. L- I, I don't know. This okay. is the thing. This is why I didn't number my list. Okay. Because it's Maybe... so much my heart. So I'm thinking Pokemon Assassin's Creed, Astrobot, Donut County for this next sort of group. Mm-hmm. I'd agree with you. Personally. Sorry, Ron, I'm sorry, say again. I'm thinking for this next sort of group, Pokemon, Assassin's Creed, Astrobot, Donut County. I think that's what we're looking to fit in here. In these three, 
And 12, 13, or 14. Well, and 10 as well, I guess. 10, yeah. Which one of those games is better than Detroit? Astro Bot and Donut County. Okay. What do you think? Well, I mean, I don't, I've only played Assassin, so Assassin would be for me. But <laughs> oh, you play Pokemon, didn't you? Oh, yeah, to be fair. Um, oh, I'd have Assassins over Pokemon. Okay. So you said Assassins, you said Astro Bot or Donut County. I think Astro Bot should be 10. But Astro Bot 10, Donut County 12. Are we happy there with that? And then Assassins of Pokemon 13, 14? Yeah. Maybe with Assassins in 13, Pokemon 14, because Pokemon is... Yeah, I mean, it's up to you. I mean, if you, I mean I'd be happy with that. If, if we look, see how it looks. Yeah. How we feel about it. See if the glove yeah. fits. Mm. What one am I playing here? Uh, Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed's in 15th. Oh. Hey? Eh? Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, okay. It's just we've still got it on the right, haven't <laughs> oh, we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, have we not? Sorry, guys. That's my, my bad. That's all right. <laughs> That's fine. Sorry, I was just saying that it was over there already. So we've got Astro... So now, okay. Interesting. Yeah, so Donut County 12. I think we're in a discussion here of... Do you want your cues in top 10? Because I think it's around top 10. Because I feel like in 13, it's going to have to be either your cues or Dragon Ball. I think let's put Dragon Ball in Are there. we missing a game? Oh no, because that's no, okay. Yeah. Well, we're good. I we're good. think um, I think should be there. I think Yakuza should get ten. I think we move those three up one each. Because I think the thing with the Yakuza games is it never gets the credit it probably deserves because it is getting credit now. Right? Yeah, but it never used to before because everyone was like, "Oh, the games come out late," and. You know, or oh, it's all in Japanese, but people have started to accept the Japanese of it. Yeah. And Yakuza Thanks. Six is brand new engine. It's the end of Kyu's story. It's out pretty much on time with Japan, um, or it's a little bit after. But and it, it was such a great game. I mean, who can forget Onimichu? <laughs> you know, walking around as a oh, mascot. Oh no! Exactly. <laughs> I mean, Classic catchphrases yeah. such as that. That's why I would say. That's why I was saying where. It, so Yakuza yeah. 6 at 10 I think Dragon Ball is up 9 I think it's yeah I'm happy with that yeah and then we're into interesting territory then are we looking at we're, we're looking at everything <laughs> uh, well I'm thinking oh, that's hard. Hitman 2 um... did you play Monster Hunter Craig no uh, so that's all on you interesting uh that is all on you. I mean, I would put Spider-Man well below this list. I think eight <laughs> is a good place for Spider-Man. Did you not like Spider-Man? No. No? Okay. I platinumed it, no, by the way. You so loved it then. It. You put the hours yeah. in. Okay. I didn't put that many hours into it, though. <laughs> That's the thing. There just wasn't all right. enough substance I, To be fair, I don't think we're too far from Spider-Man territory. The... For I'm, me, there just wasn't enough I'm there. not sure it's... And there wasn't enough in it for me. I'm not sure it's right now. I mean, I'm looking now... I'd be happy to put Hitman 2 there. I'm not sure I would be. Well, Where does... Hold on. How high, Where... how high is Moscow in this list? Is the... Pretty soon, I would think. Where... I think... What do you think of Monster Hunter? It's not top five. Okay. But it's in... We're in the territory of it now. Yeah. Um... But I think, for me, these three spaces here would be Hitman 2... Alex said Monster Hunter World in these three, six, seven, eight. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Spider Man for me. But I'm surprised you don't play Monster Hunter, right? You love that. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I nearly bought it, didn't I? But I think I'll start playing something How else. How high are Two Point Hospital and Moss going? Two Point Hospital is in the top five. That's not yet. <laughs> <laughs> is this Moss territory? I think Moss should go eighth. Yeah, it's the best VR game, according to our award. Fast <laughs> horses. Um, it's a very good game, mm -hmm. and yep. there's there's a sequel coming. So, 
spoilers for the end of the game. But <laughs> should we say Monsters in it? Monster Hunter Seven, Hitman Six. Yeah. Oh, you saying Hitman Top Five? Are you? Um, uh, Hit- Hitman Two is fantastic. Yeah, so. I really want to play that because I know I'll love that. Yeah. I reckon if I it's played great. it, I'd be backing you right now because I love Hitman. The thing I with like it, Hitman a lot. The I thing just with didn't feel like anyone else was liking it right now. Yeah, but the thing with Hitman Two <laughs> is there isn't much difference compared to the. Uh, I always want to say original one, but it's not the original Hitman one. So the last one. one. Yeah. There isn't much difference, but it's because didn't need to change that much. No, yeah, it didn't and need the, that really change. didn't. The difference is it's all one it's game. All it's once, not a yeah. thing, which was the that was my only downside yeah. of Hitman One. It's just yeah. So maybe it needs to be a bit higher then. Yeah. Two, uh, I, I'm thinking Two Point Hospital. No. <laughs> no. In sixth. <laughs> sixth place. Look what it's up against. Yeah. Oh, Spider Man, God of War, Celeste, Hitman 2, Red Dead Redemption 2. That's I what know it's what up my against. List is, what I, want. I know, but it's not your list, it's our <laughs> list. Yeah, but you I... need to get it out of your head. <laughs> it's not. It's a consensus. Yes, and I'm coming to a consensus with Hitman 2 being in sixth. That's not a consensus. That's just you. <laughs> I, I, well, I'm coming to a consensus of Hitman below Spider-Man. I'm not having Two Point Hospital below Spider-Man. It's not happening. I think it should. Um, no. It's categorically, I'm not <laughs> allowing that <laughs> to happen. Okay. I will be stubborn. So it looks like we've got a lock on... I told you I was going to fight for something. Four of them. I haven't them. fought for anything yet. Celeste, God of War, Hitman 2 and Red Dead Redemption 2 look like a top four. Yeah. I mean, in some sort of order. Yeah, yeah. So I think we're just debating whether Spider-Man is going in sixth or Two Point Hospital is going in sixth. And then the other one's going in fifth. Yeah, basically. Yeah, which makes sense. Agreed on that? Sorry? At least. What? With <laughs> going between <laughs> Spider-Man and Two Point Hospital for fifth, sixth in some order. The other four are pretty much a lock for top four. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. I'd put two high point hospital above Hitman personally, but. Okay, so two point I've hospital. I've only played Hitman, fifth, but I reckon yeah, And Spider Man sixth, yeah. Spider Man's a better game than two point hospital. No. Uh. So Hitman two in four, is that then? Or is it in three? I think. Where's the? Uh, we're, into, we're entering the. <laughs> we're entering the Craig side. Yeah. Um, I think Hitman Two in fourth. Yeah, I looks agree good with to that. me. Yeah, I think that makes sense. There we go. We've come to a consensus on something. Then. We could. Well, should we, we have? A, should we have a, in this top three? Should we have a top we? three chat? Right. Uh, we can't go to the top three where we haven't done. That. <laughs> that's fifth true. That's true. Yeah. Fifth and sixth. Let's do fifth. Let's. Fill it all in and no, then let's let's do the. <laughs> can, can you do me a favour? Yeah. Can you put in sixth two point hospital and fifth Spider Man just so we can see what it looks like? <laughs> I can do something, but maybe not that. <laughs> I don't think. No. You can't put two point hospital in fifth. <laughs> I can, no, I can't. I mean, the thing with Spider Man is that a lot of superhero games are terrible. Spider-Man this, is terrible. This is, no, it's, it's, it's the best Spider-Man game there has been. It's the best Spider-Man game there has so been. So just because it's the best of the Spider-Man games, does that mean no, it's, that one, it's of the the best, best... one of the best games of this year? Yes, it's absolutely one of the best games of this year. How? I think one of the it's things boring. with Spider-Man is the, the, the story of Spider-Man mm. was amazing. Yeah. It's a true comic book, true to Spider-Man. Yeah. They created some, they had something new, but they had a lot of the original yeah. in it as well. And it kind of plucked, I mean, I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. Yeah. And it plucks on all of my heartstrings that they really yeah. needed to. It didn't have as much depth in the side stuff as it could have done. Yep. But Agreed. its story, yep. like if it was just like, if they said, right, we're making a Spider-Man game and we're giving you a story and that's what we're giving you, it's like a flawless game. Mm. I thought there were some nice moments in the story, but I didn't think the story was told as well as it could have been. It has, it has some lull, you know, lull moments in it. But I mean, a lot, I mean, a lot of, of me, I yeah, think. but a lot of games. I mean, if we're talking about lull moments, then Red Dead Redemption Two shouldn't even be on the spreadsheet, let <laughs> alone on the list. To be honest with you, <coughs> but I think you can tell Spider Man's story is is good because they're making an entire comic out of that universe in in the actual video game, and I think it done a really good job of 
not only letting people like like yourself who are you know comic book fans and all that sort of stuff who know the characters yeah. back to front it also allowed people who don't know that an easy easy access yeah. into it yeah. so by the end of it um, I felt that it was too much of an easy access into it so. okay but it, it struck that balance I thought between those who come into it fresh and there will be a lot of people who just pick a game up because they'll be like oh it's Spider-Man I liked that movie when I saw Tobey Maguire play him 10 years ago or whatever um, I'll pick this up and it allowed them to do it and it gave them the satisfaction but also gave people who love comic books the satisfaction as well of oh my god that's such and such such and such yeah it had it had that that spectrum and also the swinging was good oh, it's so I disagree about the swinging. <sighs> I feel like when I was just swinging through, yeah. man, I could do that for hours. Just quite happily. I didn't need the side stuff as much because I enjoy just yeah. being Spider Man and swinging about. Yeah. Maybe I just don't like Spider Man. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <Just don't laughs> maybe like that's Spider-Man. what it is. For me. Yeah. And I, get... I like Jury. I thought she was really good yeah. as a character. Mm. Mm. I thought. I mean, Two Point Hospital is a very, very good game. Yeah, I love Two Point Hospital. You know, right. to, to bring that back from the dead and for Sega to show the faith it's a whole in them new game. was fantastic. Um, and like my my missus, like she doesn't really play. She plays games. Like she'll play mm. games every now and then. But she played a lot of Two Point Hospital, and which is one of the only games she played last year mm. because it was so good. Yeah, I think Two Point there. Hospital as well, though. Um, so obviously, a lot of people who bought Two Point Hospital would have played Theme Hospital. And a lot of people were looking at back to Theme Hospital when they did buy it and when they're playing it now. I think that is a big part of it. So you do get people that don't tend to play as many games thinking, I'm going to buy Two Point Hospital. That's like Theme Hospital. I like that. I think in a like similar way to Spider-Man, it struck a chord between it appealed to this nostalgia of Theme Hospital and it invited people who never mm. played Theme Hospital in with a fun, mm. you know, with, with a decent game. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But and I liked the story of Two Point Hospital, like not the story, but you know, like it's got the different. Yeah, so I thought that was probably the one part of it where I was kind of like. Well, that's new. It was just it. I enjoyed the different hospital aspect of it, mm. but I don't know. If, if I'm looking at it with Spider Man, I'd I'd put Spider Man above it, but so would I. I think you're going to have to admit... You've got Unravel 2 in the damn list. I mean, come on. Yeah, That's crazy. Look how high Donut County is up there. That's crazy. Like, I have showers that's longer than Donut County. <laughs> I th- Yeah, I, th- I think... I just... I don't want it to be forgotten about. I'll be honest. I didn't think coming into this I don't chat, think it would be anywhere near that high. That 2.0 would even yeah. make the list. Let alone be as high I, as... I was, I, was gonna th- I thought I would be fighting for it to be like a 20. And I would be <laughs> happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> now the career is sixth. Don't worry, I wouldn't have let it go up to 20. <laughs> we would have been here all night. So now we're in real interesting territory. So, should we... Red Dead Redemption 2 and third? Should we do a recap? Should I do a little recap? Um... 20th, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, 19, Unravel 2, somehow. 18, Super Mario Party, 17th is Florence, 16, Forza Horizon 4, 15, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, 14, Pokemon Let's Go, Pikachu and Eevee, 13, Donut County, 12, Detroit Become Human, 11, Astro Bot, 10, Yakuza 6, The Song of Life, 9, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, 8, Moss, 7, Monster Hunter World, 6, Two Point Hospital, 5, Marvel Spider-Man, 4, Hitman 2. That leaves us with Celeste, God of War, Red Dead, Redemption. See, I'm actually two. looking at these bottom three here, 18, 19, 20. Maybe we should put Smash in 18. And what? Move the other two down one. Okay. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Back to where we where yeah. were. First thing I said was Unravel 2 you know 20. What? The funny thing is, I reckon this... I don't know. I, was just I feel like there's a clear again. path for 1, 2, 3. More so than the rest yeah. of this list. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> what's your three? You're going to be like Red Dead first or <laughs> No, no, no. I, yeah, I, what are you thinking? Should we maybe I think... go around and say what our top game is? Or should we... My co- mine's got should, we, should we talk about the games first? Yeah. yeah. We won't talk about Celeste because I've already sort of yeah. touched on, on Celeste, but... Red Dead. Red Dead Redemption 2. What, what do we think? So, uh, right, I've played... This is the reason we delayed the podcast. Yeah, I've, I have now played up to the epilogue. So I have not played epilogue one and two. I don't mind hearing spoilers about it because I'm probably not going to be in a rush to go Do through Do you know them. what it is? Well, I know you played John. Okay. And I kind of called that 
at around chapter four. Yeah. When he when when he gets black lung, whatever it is. Yeah. Then I'm like, oh, we're gonna play John for a while at the end of this mm. because who else are we gonna play when he dies? Which he's never gonna die. Which I was like, sweet, that's gonna be awesome. Yeah. I can't wait to play as John. But I feel like from chapter five, when you go off and you're you're stranded on the Guama. Yeah. yeah. At that point, I lost something. Yeah. With with Red Dead, and I just I didn't really get that spark back again after that. See, I felt differently about it. I felt that the chapter before the Guam a bit, I was kind of a bit like, oh, this is getting a bit draggy. Yeah. And I went to Guam and I was like, oh, I like this. Yeah. Bit of shooting. Bit cast away. I, I immediately yeah. thought of Uncharted. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought but chapter I five that. was Uncharted. And yeah. um, I liked that chapter. I sped through that chapter. Yeah. Like very quickly. <laughs> mm. I think and I was quite upset that I sped through it so quickly because I wanted to keep playing that chapter. Because mm. I liked that you know, cowboys on a desert island. I kind of yeah. like that. Um, oh yeah, I guess that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I just that. feel like I think it was what I noticed is from that point when you go back to chapter six, especially, I feel like I started noticing the missions are I'm gonna fight a huge wave of people, mm. and wave after wave I'm gonna battle away, and the mission's basically gonna be done. Mm. Whereas I feel like before chapter five, I didn't either. You know, I didn't notice. That, I didn't notice that yeah. as much. It may or may not have happened. Yeah. But I just really started to notice how I'm bored of having to kill 50 people again and again and again. Yeah. I mean, I, like for me personally, the, the thing that annoys me, the, not annoys me, but the thing I was disappointed in is just how rigid that gameplay structure is before. I mean, we've said this on the podcast um, on previous episodes, but its gameplay design is back in like PS2 days. Yeah. You know, For example, if I play Assassin's Creed Odyssey... Obviously, it wasn't one of my favourite games this year. But if I play Assassin's Creed... Oh, if I can say it. Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and I pick up a mission. Okay. <laughs> and I pick up a mission from Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I can I can go do that straight away, or I can pick up some other missions, I can do some other stuff. In Red Dead Redemption 2, if I start a mission, I'm locked into that mission yeah. until the end of it. Yeah. And yeah, I just think it's really... For an open world like game, and a world that's got such a, a wonderful and beautiful open world, it's really archaic design. Yeah. That and is, should we put it in number seven, then? <laughs> <laughs> there was definitely a few moments where that happened to me where like a mission started mm-hmm. and I didn't really want to do it and I was yeah. like oh god now I'm going to have to do this mission before I can yeah. log off or whatever even with side stuff sometimes it happens yeah you kind of get well. caught you get caught in it yeah, yeah. Um, have you played Red Dead Online at all? no mm-hmm. I started it the other day I, mean, I didn't really get very far because mm-hmm. I quickly was like oh. it's basically quite similar to GTA yeah, and from what what I reckon what happened is just like GTA when GTA Online first came out, it was trash, and then six months later everyone was like, "Oh, it's so good," but mm-hmm. no one wanted to play it anymore. And I reckon the same thing will happen with Red Dead. Yeah, probably. Yeah, but yeah, it's. I like the idea of lassoing a random dude. And yeah, that's it. I don't, I don't really get. I didn't, so the one I got to one area where I started a mission, and then you get match made with three other people mm-hmm. when you do a mission together. But then after that, they were gone again. And I was kind of like, wait a minute. Yeah. Is it an open world? Like, we, we, what's yeah. going on here? And I, d- I didn't quite grasp how it worked, but I'm I sure I played like an hour. Yeah. Um, and the other things that, I, the things that I used to love in Red Dead 1 was like going and skinning the animals or hunting the animals down, skinning them. Mm-hmm. And they have loads of that in Red Dead 2, obviously, and you can get the different gear in that. But I never felt incentivized to bother to do it. Yeah. I know someone that has collected every single animal. Yeah. Every single one she sat and collected. See, I mean, I, I don't know how she's managed to do that. I, I would have loved the so idea tedious. of doing that because I used to love doing yeah. that, but mm. I just didn't feel like I had the urge. I would, I would often go through near the end, chapter mm. six. I'll go for a zone, and you know, it's like, oh, you're near a legendary animal. I'd be like, oh, man. yeah. Well, I did quite a few legendaries. Well, I did a couple. A few I got killed by a bear once. Oh yeah, the first one. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I can believe that. That was enough. Mm. I thought my bow and arrow was enough. Yeah, I was wrong. Yeah. I mean, <coughs> It's going to be top three, so we should probably say some positive things about it. Oh, it's, it's... it's world, it's characters, it's story are all top notch yeah. in my eyes. Yeah. I mean, I said earlier I didn't like Dutch, but he's a great character. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, like, to me, Spider Man didn't have enough, and I didn't feel that with Red Dead. I always felt like there was something I could be doing. There was I'd tons often of content. Just pick it up there. and just go off and do random things. Yeah. Like, I found a dead body, well, part of a dead torso, sorry. Yeah, that's cool. And that was quite. I was a bit like shocked at first because I was sat in the dark on my own, oh, yeah. and I was like, "This is fucking creepy." Yeah. Mm. But um, 
Yeah, I liked like that sort of thing where you could just find these random things. Yeah, and I feel, that I think was the gem. Yeah, I, I feel like there's a lot of stuff that I hear from other people, and they talk about this game. I'm like, what on earth are you talking about? Yeah. Like, it's just some stuff I've not encountered because mm. there's so yeah. much in that game that you just miss it. Like, for example, the um, was it the painter you were talking about French earlier? Painting. Never even met that person. Yeah, I see that. I think it was uh, my favorite side mission was the circus matey. Where well, oh, he loses yeah, his circus fun, animals, yeah, yeah. Like he's, he's lost his tiger and his got go and whatever people, else it is. Yeah, um, yeah and I mean, I, one of my probably one of my favourite missions was doing that little one. Yeah, but I then I spoke to one. Joe about it. He was like, never, heard of, never did saw you, that. Did you play that bit? No, I didn't. No, you didn't. Then that's, so. And I think that's the thing with Red Dead is it got to the stage where I was burning out because there was almost too much that I really wanted to do. Mm. But then I was kind of like, oh, I need to kind of get through the story. Otherwise, I knew I, I, I was getting to the stage where I'm like, if I don't finish this game soon, I'm not going to finish it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't know if anything good happens in Epilogue 1 and 2. <sighs> the epilogue's really long. Yeah. That, when, really you told, like, when, you, when you told me what they necessary. were, I was kind of like, oh, do I want to commit to eight hours yeah. of yeah. me being Farmer John Master? <laughs> That's what I thought. Like, I was like, I really can't be bothered with the it. The last, last mission is good. Because is it worth that late? How does it, does it end with he wants to lose his family, I assume? So... I mean, the, the ultimate end-to-end end after the credits of Red Dead Redemption 2, it ties back into Red Dead Redemption 1. Yeah, so the initial, I thought it would. You see the, the initial agent who's coming to tell John he's kidnapped his, his wife and, yeah, and yeah. kid and it starts Red Dead Redemption 1. Um, but the, the end of the actual second epilogue, if you're happy for me to, yeah, to yeah, spoil yeah, it, yeah. is it's basically you... Uh, is it Charlie? Charles? 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 Yeah. And um, oh, Sadie? Yeah. Is that her name, Sadie? Yeah, yeah. yeah. God, remembering these names. Yeah, so you, Charles, and Sadie go up this mountain to find Micah. And you. Oh, yeah. Micah. Yeah. And then Dutch is there, and it looks like Micah's going to kill you. And then Dutch actually kills Micah. Yeah. Um, so that's it sort of plays out. That's a really. It needed that. I feel like that's what I. I needed that at the end of chapter six. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. yeah I either needed the, the, John to kill Arthur, Dutch to kill. Mika or Arthur's death was shit. Yeah, I thought like, <laughs> like if he was gonna die on the mountain, die in the way. shootout bit. Yeah, yeah. Not laying there like like have. I was yeah, I was disappointed by that. Like, I didn't mind it. I didn't mind. Because I, I felt like nice. to me, I felt like that's the end of it for me. Mm. Yeah. And I like I I may or may not go back. I don't know. I, unlikely I'll go back and do the epilogues now. Yeah. Like that bit going through the town after as John, I was just like, I don't want to play this. I'm a bit pissed off. I don't really want to be doing this bit right now. Mm. And that's kind of how I felt after, which is why I haven't done the epilogue. The epilogue's too long. I think if the epilogues were a bit shorter, it would have, the yeah. payoff would have been much better. I think I personally probably would have been a bit more positive about the game. Mm. I still think it's an amazing game. But, oh, um, it is. Yeah. I mean, speaking of amazing games, there's another two on this list. So, yeah, I think, well, Red Dead's obviously third. It's looking like it, isn't it? It is. Shall we pop that in then? Yeah, let's pop that in. Red Dead Redemption at number three. Should we discuss God of War? Because we've actually not mentioned it at all, really. I what think a game. We've stayed away from it for a reason, though. Um, <laughs> God, it was a good game. Yeah. Sorry. Had Sorry. I, ca- I can't believe that Sony Man- Santa Monica and, and Corey Barlock and all that, those sort of people, they took a game that, a franchise that was dead and buried. Not many people really liked Kratos as a character. At all in God of War. I mean, do you remember God of War Ascension on the PS3? Yeah. I mean, that that was a chore to oh, finish. Ah, that bad boy. <laughs> yeah, crazy. <laughs> that was a that was a chore to finish, and to go from that to not just a game that played really really well, but they literally saved Kratos as a character. Oh, yeah. Like, he's so interesting. He now. did so well with Kratos. Dad of the year. Yeah. He was an absolute legend. Oh. Was- as I say, going into it, I was just like, I'm not going to think anything of this yeah, game. So you've I'm never, not interested yeah, you've at all in God of War. I've never played any of them. Yeah. And then I, I started playing it. And not very far in, I was like, I really like this. I'm blown away by this. Mm. I want to keep playing this. Yeah. I want to know what happens. I think that's the thing with it. Is it constantly drives you to think, oh yeah, I want to know more and I want to know more. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And it's just, it's storytelling is... Yeah. Second to none. Yeah. That moment really when is. you get the blades back. Oh, God. That's that was bad. epic. So I don't think that was the biggest moment for me as it was for people that played yeah, the old probably, ones. That's yeah. it. I'm probably the opposite but, to you. I've played every God of War game, yeah. platinum them all, yeah. loved them. Like, yeah. it, and it just, it did so well to honour the past and 
add on to it as well. And so, like you say, I mean, I think the, that thing, is the, the thing with it though is that it has honoured the past, yeah. and it's made it new as well. Yeah, because Kratos like. himself, like I mean, I love God of War three, Kratos. It's absolute legend. He just like, kills everyone. He's just an absolute hero. And to change him, it was always a bit like, oh, that's going to be a bit weird. Like, you're going in a very different direction with him. Mm. But, oh, I just... The bit I loved with the blades was the bit leading up to it because it never it never outright tells you, hey, remember those blades you used yeah. to have? You're getting them. So when you're in the, the long boat ride back, actually, it wasn't that long a boat ride, but and you, you can see the like apparition of Athena. And I was thinking to myself, are they... Am I about to get the blades? Yeah. Is this what's happening? And then when you see it, it's just this this wonderful like build up to oh my god! I definitely yes. had like a big smile on my face when I yeah. opened it. I was like oh yeah. yeah. I did enjoy fighting with the blades. I yeah, I preferred that actually. I think. And again, that's the thing we spoke about the combat. In it is as good mm. as God of War combat's always been. Oh mate, like, when you when you call that axe back, yeah, it's so cool, <laughs> so satisfying, isn't it? Like the combos you can do, the weapon varieties they give you, it's just so satisfying. Like, mm. and that's the thing about that game is throughout the entire thing, you're constantly satisfied. If it's visually, if it's with the combat, if it's with how hard it is, if it's with the story, you're always just like, what's a game? Yeah. Mm. And it doesn't have any lulls. It was like a perfect no. sort of length. Even on the yeah. boat, there was never a lull. No. And um, oh, you know what? The boat, the boat ride on. was made by, um, what's his Bet. name? Mimir. <laughs> Yeah, 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 Mimir, yeah, yeah, yeah. What a legend. Like, yeah. he made those Hello. boats right. And there was moments where, you know, you would be on the boat, he'd be telling you a story, and you'd get off, and he's like, yeah. oh, I'll just come back to that later. And I was almost like, oh, no, I kind of want to hear it now. Yeah. But you get back on, they yeah. restart it up yeah. again. Yeah. I would often just stay in the boat yeah. and just listen. Yeah. But I love the way they just did that as well. Just a simple little touch like that. Yeah. Mm. It was so well done. Because it wasn't just a cut off and then you get back in. It no. was a, oh, I'll tell you that later. Yeah. But then when you get back in the boat, it's like, now where were we? Yeah. And then it kind of does like a little synopsis mm -hmm. and then goes into it. And they did it's really just... well with the lore of it as well. Because I read a book earlier in the year about, um, I can't remember what it's called, Norse, Norse, it's all Norse yeah. mythology, but I can't remember the guy that wrote it. But when I read through that, there was so much of that, like with Mimir and how he loses his eye and all that sort of stuff. And it was all very mm. true to it or like a really cool ad adaptation yeah. of it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that game had me reading up about Norse mythology Yeah. after I finished it. That's I mean, what happened to me. I played that yeah. and then I saw that book and Emma was like, oh, you've been banging on about this game for ages, <laughs> read that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I like, uh, I mentioned earlier, I like the ancient Egyptian, the Egyptian mythology. I like the Greek mythology, not as yeah. much Egyptian, but I didn't really know too much about Norse mythology. Yeah. I knew bits and pieces, but that after that game, I was like, right, this Loki dude, <laughs> let me find out oh, more about when, him. When they say that, when they say he's Loki at the end, I was just like, oh, yeah. Because the moment, like when we're kind of walking up that little, you know, the mm. sort of stairway bit to the yeah. where you find out that it is, it is Loki, I, I thought to myself, I was like, yeah, it can't be Loki. Not surely not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like the portrayal of Freya as well in it. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Like some people um, weren't too happy from a feminist point of view. Yeah. Um, with her being killed by her son. Yeah. But I thought it was fitting for the story personally. Yeah. Well, she's, yeah, I mean, she's still alive, isn't she? And I mean, some of the strongest characters in that game are, oh, are females. females. Yeah, exactly. Like the Valkyries, good yeah. God. Oh, God. Exactly. Um, that was a pain. That was a pain. <laughs> I don't and think, I think that's there the was thing... any injustice to women in that game. No, as well, no. no. <laughs> I mean, I think the, the thing with God of War is none of us have said a bad word about it yet. And I can't really think of anything as like a negative. That will, will not... No, I can't really. Yeah, I, d I don't know. I, I mean, I'm one for not liking open worlds too big, and I, I thought God of War's world is more like a, a sandbox, but it was really well put together. Everything had its place and had a purpose. Mm, yeah. The, the only thing, and this is nitpicking, is I didn't really like the fast travel on the world map. Because oh, I, yeah, I found yeah. it a bit, uh, when I was trying to get my bearings and work out where I am, where I want to go. It was immediately opposite first, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, but that was the, that was the only thing. But in a way, I liked that because it forced you to remember where you are and where you're going. Yeah, Whereas yeah. if you play, I don't know, like Watch Dogs 2, for example, every city, look, every street looks the same. Yeah. You know, mm. there's no <coughs> definitive difference. But it's, it's the little things in God of War that I really loved as well. Like going back to the, the lore, and it's the bit at the end where they reveal that um, like um, Atreus's mum, does she have a name? 
can't remember if she was I can't remember. I can't remember. But anyway, where the symbols that you're following on the walls through the game, yeah. she's placed she's them. Placed yeah. her, she's left them. Whereas behind, like yeah. like an Uncharted where everything's white, you know, oh that's where I've got to hang. Like the game even gives you a reason as to why there's these markings. Yeah. Because it's where she wanted you to go, because after all you're following her trail. Yeah. She wanted you to find out the truth about her. Yeah. 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 And about yourself. So uh, what do we think about that end mural in the game? The one where it looks like Atreus kills Kratos? Yeah. Is that what's happening? Is yeah. that what's happening? There's also, there's also the theory that the world serpent is Kratos. Yeah, I really like that one. I don't like that, though. I can, I can see it because of the red markings. Yeah, I, yeah, I can see it. But I don't know. No. Didn't you say it was Atreus' son? Yeah, so the world serpent in Norse mythology is... Um, Loki's son. Yeah. And so is Fenrir the wolf, and there's another yeah, thing as yeah, well. So yeah. it's a bit. Because he's a giant, obviously, isn't he? So. What, Loki? Yeah. He's half, half giant. Yeah. Half giant, yeah. Half giant, and the world half serpent God. is obviously the only giant left. Yeah. So it's. Before that. Yeah. I don't know. Because they're taking liberties with the source material, aren't yeah. they? They're doing yeah. that little thing. Yeah, so we don't know. Yeah. So we're not 100% sure, but it's obviously very, a family resemblance somewhere. I'm very excited <laughs> to see what happens. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, Oh, yeah, we're doing a and Game of the Year podcast. Celeste, Celeste Craig? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I spoke about my bit about Celeste earlier, really. I'll just kind of repeat myself, but the, that game goes places that many other games don't. I think we probably have a consensus, though, for number one, don't we? I think so. Got a war one. So. I think so. Celeste two. Yeah. Uh, number um, one before we start. I, I'm happy it's with that. Good looking, li- good looking <laughs> list. With a consensus. I've actually got two number ones in my list. Yeah. Which is these two. Yeah. Um, I, I just couldn't split them because they're so different, but they do w- what they set out to do. They do so well. Yeah. They do so well. I think we have a list. We have a list. Ta-da! Do you want to uh, go through so, the list? So, our top 10 list. Oh, top 20, sorry. So 20, Unravel 2. I don't want to cut anymore. 19, <laughs> Super Mario Party. 18, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. 17, Florence. 16, Forza Horizon 4. 15, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. 14, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu slash Eevee. Uh, 13, Donut County. 12, Detroit Become Human. 11, Astro Bot. 10, Yakuza 6, The Song of Life. 9, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, 8, Moss, 7, Monster Hunter World, 6, Two Point Hospital, 5, Marvel Spider-Man, 4, Hitman 2, 3, Red Dead Redemption, 2, and 2, Celeste, and number 1 is God of War. Whee. Congratulations. Congratulations to Sonia Santa Monica and all the people on the list. Um, your awards will be whisking its way <laughs> to you in the form of a Twitter post. <laughs> I was going to say, are we making the awards or how are we doing that? We'll just send them a few digestives, they'll be all right. So just to end off this, we're going to do a, a little look ahead to 2019 with just some quick fire questions, yes or no answers from everyone. Um, got a few questions here. We'll, we'll go around, we'll start with uh, Mr. Instagram and then we'll go with the Paul's Resume Show host and then myself. So first question, just yes. Controversial. Just yes or no, yeah. and then we'll revisit these. Will Anthem be a success? No. 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 Will Remake 3, Resident Evil 3, be announced? Yeah. Yeah. No. Will Death Stranding <laughs> be released in 2019? Uh, no. No. Yes. <laughs> Will the PS5 be announced? Yeah. Definitely. That's not yes or no. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Will the PS5 launch in 2019? No. Yes. No. Will the next Xbox be announced? No. Yes. Yes. Will the next Xbox launch in 2019? No. No. Yes. Will Metroid Prime 4 be released in 2019? Yeah. Yes. No. <laughs> I'm going to go no. Okay. We can revisit that next year. Um, 
just to end on here. On the spreadsheet for next year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess we can we can put that in. So, pause regime is changing a little bit in 2019. Um, we're going to start 2019 with a little bit of an in-depth look at a sort of can we call it old now? An old title. Yeah. We're going to look at Recore. Yeah. I've um, got a few bits and pieces about that. Some of it's quite interesting. We've got some new information mm -hmm. regarding how it was developed, how it was built. Um, so check that out. That'll be in January sometime in both written and video format. Um, next year is going to be a lot of podcasts for us. Yeah, moving forward. So moving away from the quarterly updates. Yeah, now. yeah. We'll just kind of do them when we can, yep. which might actually en end up having more content out, to be yeah. honest with you, in terms of the site stuff. Um so the pause resume show will continue at the minute every two weeks. Yep. It will come back on January the oh my god, I don't know. Like four days, I think. I don't know. No, it will be coming back on January the twenty second. Come back on January twenty. Sure? Yep, hundred percent. Okay. It will be coming back. On... No, nope. is that a Tuesday? No, it's not January twenty second. Yeah, January twenty second. That is a Tuesday. Yeah, so we're going to come back on January 22nd with the Pause Regime show every two weeks from then. Uh, we will also be launching a separate podcast next year. More information about that. Yes, it's 2019, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I keep forgetting that. Yeah. It's the first day of 2019. Uh, more information on that, but at the minute we're looking like it will be March, April time. It's quite exciting. Um, yeah, definitely look out for that and hit it up. It's one of the most... How do you hit it up? You go onto iTunes and you tap on it. Is that a hit? And you fix <laughs> okay. it. <laughs> hit it up hit yeah. up our new podcast uh, that'll be March April <laughs> time sending. it's arguably one of the most ambitious things we've ever tried to do so hopefully you'll, you'll tune in for that yeah. are we sure we're going for March with that? no that's why I said March April no I thought it might be sooner if it's, I thought we were going to go sooner um, we'll see if it's sooner it'll be a big, well, big surprise well, yeah. let's let's discuss off air yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. so there's that don't forget to check the site pausedregime.com there's still things going up on the site and have been for years and years if you ever want to you know got a cup of coffee got a spare five ten minutes there's a lot of stuff on there there's for example you could read about the vanishing of bioshock you can hear about the read about the philosophy of um near automata the inspirations behind hunt down and the future of video games in sweden and loads and loads of other stuff, including nonsense like the hidden links between JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Adventure and Metal Gear, <laughs> which is certainly something different. You won't see that on IGM. <laughs> In closing, pausedream.com. The Twitter is at pausedream underscore. The Facebook is, I think it's facebook.com slash games, but you'll, you'll find us there. And the Instagram is just pausedream. I think so. I think so. Yeah. Just search for us and, and you'll find yeah, it. Okay. And if you want to search for Mr. Sodi over there on Instagram and hunt him down, you can as well. You can see yeah. his crystal ball that he's <laughs> pictures through. That is it it's for got, the... You've got a few profiles on Instagram, though. No, not me. I mean, I've got one that I've, I do for, like, geek stuff. Yeah. Deadpool stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm the man ages. There you go. Got to search for that as well. Yeah. It's all hidden stuff, you know. It's like a little game. <laughs> yeah, it's quite fun, that one. Talk about games and am a game. You are a game. <laughs> that will do. <laughs> you are a game. That will do for Pause Resume Show. It's not the Pause Resume Show. That will it's do for the Pause Resume Game of the Year podcast <laughs> of 2018. It's been a wonderful year. We hope 2019 will be better. Shemi 3 is coming out in eight months' time. Not that I'm counting down, but I am. It's a weekly countdown now. Thank you very much, Alex Sony. No worries. Thank you very much, Alex Collinson. Thank you and for having me and good night. No, I'm not saying goodnight this time. <laughs> and we will see you on January the 22nd for the continuation of the Pause Resume show and other such nonsense at pauseresume.com. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. The show might be over, but don't forget to subscribe on your podcast service of choice. Give us a five-star rating. And if we beg you enough, give us a great comment. Thanks for listening. <laughs>